Good evening, it is Saturday Night Gaming Time. I am Mark W. And over here I have... Hi. I'm Rob Bob. Rob Bob is over the internet talking to me. Um, yeah, we're going to play the Toe Jam Mineral back in the groove. We played this game a couple of times before. Uh, but we're going to play it again. That's all there is to it. Uh, so we're going to play two player. This is a multiplayer game. It supports up to four player. Uh, if you guys, if anybody out there who's watching wants to join and you're not a jerk, you're welcome to. I'll have to give you the details. But for now, it's just going to be me and Rob Bob playing over the internet. And about halfway through, or perhaps two thirds through, we're going to switch to good old fashioned NetHack, one of our favorites. And it's a good time for NetHack because it is time for the uh, November NetHack tournament. And that is a tournament that happens every year on the server called, called hardfought.org. And last time, last year that is, I played in that and I won the heck for the first time. So that was really cool. So I'm going to join that again after we play Toe Jam Mineral, but that will be for later. Let's go. Let's start playing. Uh, so I'm going to start a game and Rob Bob's going to join over the internets. Okay, Rob Bob. Okay. Do a new game. Let's see. Should we do random or fixed? Uh, let's do, what do you think, random? Sure, random. Sure, we're going for random, guys. Do you want online players to be able to join? Yes. That's a washing machine animation. Hey, Stu, how's it going? Yeah, I'm going skiing. Actually, I'm going to go play uh, ice hockey for the islands. Unable to host game. Oh, that's a new one. <laughs> that's the stream, guys. Uh, it looks like they took down their servers. Sorry? You go to NetHack immediately. We might have to. It could be that they don't let you host games anymore because reasons. Um, of course, we didn't think of trying that. I told Rob Bob to try the game on his end. What if I hit no? <laughs> I can play without you. Uh, well, this might mean it just opened up to random people as opposed to you uh, joining me by name, but I don't, I don't think it does mean that. Wait, do know? I'm selecting yes, your online friends can see and join your current game. Okay. Wait, can I... mm, come on, you can do it. The washing machine is turning. Crank, 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 crank. Okay. Well, that's a fun surprise. Uh, yep. That's it, guys. <laughs> See you next week. I'm trying to think really. There anything we can do? Um, as far as I know, my internet is working just great because I'm streaming to you. <laughs> can I host it? Sure, try it. Uh, yeah. Bob's going to try it, guys. And then we'll join him. Now, if we see other hosts, oh, yep. One. I'm in the character select screen. Okay, so you did you did start online game and you have the character yeah. select screen. Okay. Did you Just get up to that? No, it doesn't like me for some reason. Okay. I'm gonna choose someone. Oh, maybe it's new firewall restrictions. <laughs> That's probably what it is. All right. Uh, well, what do you, what do you want to do, guys? Uh, we could, I can play single player, or, and you have a say in this too, Rob. Or I could go right to NetHack, which would also be single player. Wait, player. can you join me? I don't think so. I'm, I'm realizing that I, I think my access was blocked on this machine, basically. Uh, Alright. We could, can we play Enter the Gun Uh, give me one second. Enter the Gungeon. Let me try it. Uh, well, we played that before, didn't it? Um, it needed the Steam link, right? Steam multiplayer. Yeah, we can probably do that, right? Mm. Maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to think how easy it would be to set up. Probably not too easy. I've done it before. We used to play on the same machine all the time. I, I'm used to playing with or with keyboard and mouse instead of controller. Keyboard and mouse in Enter the Gungeon? Yeah. That's how I'd have to play. I do play with controller also. That, that takes, we have to, we'd have to prepare for that. We can't do that. Alright, All right, uh, so I don't know guys. Yeah, I do have a, a, my own personal computer coming as we speak in 
via uh, FedEx. But for now, I've been using my work computer just because it works. It used to work, but they've been putting tighter restriction on this thing. <laughs> I realized that they probably blocked uh, various network access, by the way. So it's not the game's fault. It's uh, it's my fault for trying to use a work computer for for play, I guess. <laughs> well, what you you want you want to try Enter the Gungeon? Well, I'm trying to. I don't want to just say, oh, you can't play anything, Rob Bob. You have to watch. Okay, so Rob Bob's en invited me to play Enter the Gungeon via Steam, whatever the heck it's called. All right, I'll, I'll give it a shot. See if it works. Let's quit Toe Jam and Earl. I don't remember this being difficult. I remember it being pretty easy to do this. Okay. Oh, I heard a noise. Uh, let's see, it says mouse disabled. Not really blast. Move Steam Windows, people don't want to see this. You are now connected to Rob Bob's computer playing Enter the Gunch. Uh, make sure you have a controller. No, no such luck. Can you, can you use the keyboard? I'll try. Hold escape to control remote session. I don't think I want that, right? By the way, I'm Porkins, eating a fried chicken bucket. Okay. Uh, maybe I have to do shift tap. No. Let's do a uh, balanced ball. <laughs> hey, I don't know what to do. I just have this pop up. It says, make sure you got a controller. And I can't uh, make it go away. I also can't switch to my chat because they decided it doesn't want my mouse cursor to move outside there. Here we go, I figured that out. That part out at least. Can you see my game? I can see the game, but it's got this big dialogue in the way that says connected. You are now connected to Rob Bob's computer playing Enter the Gungeon via Steam Remote Play. And it has like a warning symbol that says make sure you have a controller. I'll escape to control remote. I guess I gotta hit escape. Let me try that. Stu says, Mark, abort this and come play Tank for T-Shirts 80 from 1979 with me. I need a second play. I think I'm in. Now, don't you have to, like, um, do something to activate the second player? Yeah. I still, like, talk to a guy, but I already did that. Oh, so... Who's that guy moving around? <laughs> yeah, it's me on my controller. You're controlling both? Yeah. How do, well, how do you get let me control it? I feel like you should be able to just use a controller. You said this works with the keyboard? So if you use keyboard, it'll control the person who's moving right now. But Nothing if you use working. the controller, it'll control this guy. Let me try holding escape again. Hold on. Did I steal everything or? What? How do you do set up player two controls, maybe? I don't know, Stu. Stu's asking, where, where did Ryan go? The answer is, I don't know. He hasn't been on my streams in weeks. I mean, I've been a little bit erratic with my streams lately, but still. It's, it's been like a month, I think. He's not been on yards, I take it. It's two. Okay, so for, hold on, for player... For player two, you need to set up keyboard, I guess. Did you do that? Yeah. I, did it say X input or something? What is X input? Uh, that's just that's just a controller. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but I need keyboard, not a controller. Yeah, yeah but I set that for player one. But I'm player two, right? Yeah, I put controllers for player one. Okay, what's player two? Keyboard. Player mouse. Two is keyboard. Okay. I might have to change the bindings or something, I don't know. I guess this won't work, probably. Oh, oh, did you just change it to X input controller? Yeah. I'm trying the opposite. Okay, fine, do it. That's what, I mean, that's what it was originally, I guess. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. What thing. about... Hold on. Wait, wait. Okay, now I'm controlling this guy. Yeah, I don't know.
Well, I guess that's that. <laughs> that won't work. Let's we'll play NetHack, I guess. All right, it's time for NetHack, guys. We're we're up to the, the second half of the stream now. <laughs> I mean, if you, since you're yeah. minutes left. I'm going to plug in the trusty keypad. But I am a little excited because it is time for the November NetHack tournament. It's not just any NetHack time of the year. It's the most wonderful NetHack time of the year. Um, let me figure out where I can plug in my keypad. I can plug it in right here, I guess. And then we'll play some. People who show up like five minutes or later are going to be like, Oh, you already played Toe Jam and Earl? All right. You could change the stream. Like you gotta change the screen. Yes, I gotta do that. So what are you streaming tonight, Stu? Something without Ryan. I guess. Yeah, I hope he's okay. Maybe you just occupy with stuff, right? That happens sometimes. Hopefully, this is the right screen. It looks like it. I'm gonna have to adjust. Let's load it up. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna um make my first character for this year's November. No oh, you're gonna play the tank game for Sierra City. Okay, sorry. Um. Yep. Can you share your screen? What? Can you share your screen? I am sharing. Oh, with you. Yeah, with me. Gotcha. He has to see my screen privately, so he's not watching the stream. He gets a, a special um, real-time view, unlike you guys. Okay, let's share OBS with Mr. Rob Bob. But you only get 15 frames a second in that hack. That's all you need. <laughs> Could you, you could take, have, like, one frame a second. You don't have 120? It's crap. At least 400 frames. Can you see it okay? I need to yeah. make it bigger for you. Okay. So, let's see. Hopefully that can fit everything. Yeah, so this is the November NetHack Tournament. This is cool because um, this server is called Hard Fought, which you can see up here. And every year throughout November, they keep track of fun NetHack stats. They have the leaderboard. They have uh, kind of like achievements. And it's just a lot of fun. And I was inspired to play last year, and that's how I won for the first time in about 30 years. You can also watch games in progress, by the way. So there's 16 other players playing right now on this server. I'm not really going to do it, but just to show you for a second, I'm going to choose this character, Arnabald. And look, this is somebody's game in progress. There's a lot of water on this level for some reason. And he's uh, he's fighting giant eels and stuff. But that is cool. Now there's 17 players. So this is not something that just like a couple of lonely nerds play. It's a lot of, a lot of lonely nerds are playing it. Um, how do you see the high score list? Oh, it might be at a different screen. Yeah, where does it show that? You know, it might be on uh, YouTube. Sue says, how come your appearance on TV isn't on your channel? What, you mean the video power? Because it is on my channel. Anyway, let's do it. Tournament. And by the way, yeah, the, the website. Oh, here's how you see the scoreboard. TN. TNNT.org, not to be confused with TMNT. Yeah, there's two there's two video power shows to on my channel. So if you just go to the, the videos, I think I uploaded them at least a year ago by now. <clears throat> just to show the website real quick. Looks like this. And you can look at the leaderboard. Let's make the fonts bigger. You can actually have clans. Um I try to get people at work because I work with like Four or five people who like NetHack. There used, used to be more, but some of them left the company. Probably only like three or four at this point. But and uh, I couldn't get them to to I couldn't rally the troops to form a clan. But there are some clans, and you can have like a collective number of wins, and it's pretty fun. This 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 uh clan, the Order of the Cockatrice, usually does really well. But now there seems to be a competitor that's making fun of them, the Order of the Chickatrice. Um, has the most ascensions, yeah. lowest turn count. There's also Team Splat and Team Split. Team Splat and Team Split? Or Split? Oh, yeah, there's Team Split. Yeah, let's see the overall leaderboard. Or we can see the clans, maybe. So, like, there's 
The Order of the Chickatrice has 10 wins, and so does the Order of the Cockatrice. People already won. People won a lot. All right, let's move this aside. Oh, real quick, though, there's trophies, too. Basically, like, whoever does the best at certain classes or all kinds of things. Never scum a game. That means just keep restarting the game until you get good stuff. That's called scumming. So if you never scum a game, you get put into this category. All right, let's move this aside and start playing. Okay, TMNT time. So I see I need to adjust the screen a little bit. That's okay. Um, hopefully it's not too small to see. If it is, I can always make more adjustments. Um, if you really want to see it all, what's that? New moon tonight. Yeah, new moon. We have bad in-game luck because of the new moon in the real world. That's how it works. We get rid of the moon and we get built so that we won't have bad luck. We get rid of the moon, what? Just blow up the moon. Just blow up the moon? Game won't update. We'll still be using the calendars that determines the moon. All right, so let's uh, get my options set up to um to use a number pad. That's kind of important. Eight. Okay, so I got a kitten. I what am I? I'm a rambler. I am a tourist, a human tourist. Uh, I know our I don't know if Arturo is watching, but he likes it when I play a tourist. Probably because it's just a ridiculous a idea. What's that? You have a camera? Yeah, you got a camera. The camera, what it lets you do is you use the flash to blind enemies. It's kind of important because um, you're so weak at the beginning as a tourist that you need to just kind of blind all the enemies to get an advantage or just to run away from them. But yeah, what you we have is... A weapon? What's that? You just get some darts? Yeah, the darts are our weapons. Uh, we want to find something better, but it's good to throw these. They are plus two, so they do extra damage, and they're easier to hit with. Um, the Hawaiian shirt is not great by itself, but it lets you stack enchantments. So, like, if you have, you know, several pieces of armor and they all have basically the max enchantments, you can put some more on the Hawaiian shirt. Where tourists really shine at the beginning, they have tons of food. Food can be a problem in this game because you have to eat to live. But the tourists have a ton of food. Six food rations can last a long time. However, you're more likely to die through, uh, Hit points lost and hunger. Hit points is down here, by the way. That's 10. It's not a terrible amount. It's just they're not good fighters. It's not a good amount either. I'll scroll the magic mapping. Those draw out the level for you. Two potions of extra healing. Self-explanatory. Credit card you can pick locks with. We got some money so we can buy stuff at the stores. And let's begin. Yeah, what should we name the cat? We're going to name him Pointy. I don't know why. Just that's the word that came into my head. Here's a grid boat. Uh, if you want to be really lame, you can push these boulders around for a long time. It is a valid strategy because you gain strength as you do it. Actually, I started out lucky. I have a lot of strength for a tourist. I have 18 strength. Also, you have a lot of food to push the boulders. Exactly. You can just waste time. Like you don't have to worry too much about hunger. You can push the boulder around indefinitely, basically, <laughs> and eat when you need to. So I have done that before, and then I realized, wow, this is a boring way to do it. So <laughs> I don't do that anymore. So I am fighting this um, grid bug, and already I'm in the yellow, so I'm getting beat up quite a bit. But I wonder if I should wield the darts to stab them. Probably not. I'm going to fire them. Through the dart. Every Anytime you fire a projectile, or like throw a dart or shoot an arrow, there's a chance of it breaking. So I just threw the dart. It did not break. So I still have my 40 darts. Here's a jackal. Killed that. Uh, actually, it said the jackal is killed, meaning my cat pointy probably killed it. Rob, Bob, if I click, you can still see the game right now, right? Yep. Okay, let me uh remove Toe Jam Mineral because that's not happening <laughs> in the OBS window. Sorry, Toe Jam Mineral. And up next is actually now November NetHack Tournament. Woo! Display capture. We're good. So Stu's going to watch me on a video power later. 
Yeah, I thought I, I kind of assumed that everybody who follows my channel would have seen the video power video. <laughs> but maybe it gets kind of lost in the glut of, of old videos. Mm, sewer rats, sewer rat corpse. Dart misses, the rat bites. Jesus Christ, I'm almost dead. Run away. Cool, the sewer rat is killed. Thank you, Pointy. So I'm going to rest for a while. While Pointy protects me from bad guys. Thank you for the plus two dart. Cat brought my, my spent darts to me. Like, here you go, boss. Here you go, master. Please give me some tripe rations. Now, do I have tripe rations? I do. So tripe rations are good. Um... Animals like them. You can tame them by throwing throwing the tribe ration at them. And if you ever need to induce vomiting on yourself, you can eat the tribe ration. And if you are poisoned, certain kinds of sickness actually that it works with. A lockpick. I think that's the only way to induce vomiting, actually. You would think there would there'd be other gross things to eat too, but all right, so here's a fountain. It's always a question of... Make a sewer rat corpse. That should make you vomit. No, they're delicious. <laughs> even, if it, even if it says it tastes terrible, it's not not really bad. The new corpse, corpse tastes okay. Yeah, so the question of the fountain is how much do I want to use it? You can get good stuff from it, or you can get bad stuff. And the bad stuff is likely to kill you if you're this uh, low level. But then it becomes a question, how much do you care? If you just started the game, does it matter much? I usually do it because I can't resist. So here we go. Me, here's me not resisting again. And <laughs> of course, I get the thing that kills you. Yeah, endless stream. Of, yeah. Camera. Yeah, let's try it. So the endless stream of snakes pours forth. That means you have to fight these water moccasins who are quite dangerous at level one, especially if you're a guy like me, uh, a not fighter, you know, a non-fighter type. But I can attempt something to try to survive. The expensive camera is a good start for sure. I can blind one of them. The other might kill me, though. <laughs> There's always Elbereth. I don't know if like, this will work well with starts. I don't even have them equipped. I'm not wielding them, I mean. All right, I'm going to try the camera. Here we go. Apply. Expensive camera to the... Let's go northwest. Hormogus is blinded by the flash. Hormogus invites Hormogus. I think I got two left. This is my last move, basically. All right, so I'm going to do the expensive camera again, upward. All right, looks like we are, ooh, I'm not going to say okay, but. Uh, if I could move diagonally, that would be great, but you cannot move diagonally through doors. So so down to the left of me, there's an open door, and I, can, I could escape, possibly, if I can move that direction. But I'm going to have to go left. And I'm not sure if this the motor moccasin can see again. So what I'm actually going to do is try the expensive camera again on the moccasin to the northwest of me, basically. Okay, I did that. Now I'm getting the hell out of here. Let's let wait for my cat to come, and then I'll close the door. Cool. And now I'm we can... That What's that? I'm surprised that worked so far. Let's just go down the stairs so we don't run into them again. Ta-da! We did it. We survived the, drinking the fountain. Stu said that the flash here, maybe Green Lantern will show up. Will show up too. Yeah. I summon the flash with my camera. The dart misses the newt. Pointy misses the newt. Pointy kills the newt. Here's a random chest. It's locked. I'm going to apply one of my many credit cards. I have, I have two credit cards and a lockpick. Let's try the lockpick. You succeed in picking the lock. You trigger a trap, but luckily the gas cloud blows away. Gold pieces, a scroll labeled Hackam Much, two pink potions, and a gray stone. Got to be careful with these gray stones because sometimes they are load stones that do nothing but weigh a lot and you cannot drop them. And I have to think about how I can test that. There are multiple ways you can test that. Like if you kick the rock on the floor and it just goes thud or you, and or you hurt your foot, then it's, uh, it's a lodestone. It's very heavy. You can't kick it. It's like a test. But here it is in a box. It's in a chest. So it's kind of... I probably don't want to mess with it. And you might wonder, why do I care about the gravestone? Well, sometimes it can be a good thing. It can be um, 
It's gonna be a load uh a luck stone. But I'm gonna leave it alone, I think. Let's drink one of these bubbly potions for fun. Oh man. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. See that? This stuff tastes like poison. You feel weaker, you die. <laughs> Bless the heck for you. That's what you get for drinking random liquids. Yeah. Especially as a tourist with low hit points. Okay. Possession identified, sure. I'll let you pick the next character, by the way, Rob. Was so this one had... just random? Yeah, this is random. Okay, well, I had another potion of sickness. <laughs> gain ability, gain energy, blah, blah, blah. Bunch of stats that we don't care about right now. Creatures vanquished. I sl I have slain seven creatures. A jackal, two sewer rats, two grid bugs, and two newts. I got better. All right. What shall I be, Rob Bob? A wizard. That's what I was playing. Okay, wizards are fun. Two says bad luck. Yeah, it is bad luck. Of course, you can always play smarter with, you know, a tourist. You have to, like, you know, you have to treat it like you're uh, juggling a, a glass, a fragile piece of glass or something, like a glass uh, Christmas ornament. And if you juggle a little too wildly, you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I came up with that analogy. But anyway, uh, okay, so you want us you know, to be a wizard. So we will choose the wizard. And which race do you think? Uh, elf, and then alignment would be chaotic, I think. Okay, I'll pick male. It did not let me pick alignment, but yeah. it, it chose chaotic for me because apparently only um, elves can only be chaotic if they're wizards. Apparently, Sue so says, "How do you win the tournament?" Well, you just get the top top score, I guess. I guess it's really more about the clans. You could get a, you could have the top individual score as well, but it mostly shows off the the clan top scores on the website. Uh, yeah, uh, there's already people who have beaten the game multiple times. Like, I checked on November 1st before lunch, and somebody beat the game twice. I'm like, oh, he, he did better. It was actually before dawn. He did better before dawn on November 1st, the first day of the tournament, than, than I've done in 30 years, basically. <laughs> I don't know. Some of these people are insane that heck. Like, I now, really, really good. I wonder if some of them are actually bots. There might be bots out there. Okay, so we're a chaotic male elven wizard. Now, the first thing that I like to check, besides my inventory as a wizard, is my spells. I have Force Bolt, which is a great general purpose attack spell. I can just keep zapping people with that. And I have Detect Food as well. Um, each spell has a fail percentage, so I can actually cast Force Bolt perfectly. I cannot cast Detect Food perfectly, probably because it's level 2, and I am only level 1. I have to gain a level, probably, and then it'll have a lower fail rate. The fail rate depends on your uh, intelligence, minus 17. Um, and uh, your level, I think. And, Isn't um, it wisdom also sometimes? Right, depends on the character class. For some character classes, like priests, it uses, it uses wisdom instead of intelligence. So I'm not wise at all. I'm like the, I am the, uh, the, the uh, kind of like the absent-minded professor or something. I have no common sense, <laughs> but I'm textbook, tex textbook smart, I guess. Another thing is if you wear armor, metal armor, heavy armor, something like that, it'll um, interfere with your spellcasting ability. So that's why it's good to keep it light. I have a cloak of magic resistance. Um, plus, plus plus one quarter staff for bashing things. Probably usually better to get a, a dagger as a uh, wizard. But overall, I want to be using my spells a lot anyway. But here's the problem. It costs your power, which is limited, to cast spells. And also you get hungry, I believe, when you cast spells. And they don't give wizards any starting food. So if you overdo it a little too much, you'll you'll be starving before you know it. But I do have this wand of fire with seven charges, so I can zap that seven times. Uh, the potions are nothing great. Extra healing is good, but actually water is good later on, because I can bless it and make holy water out of it. Ring of invisibility is nice. And teleport control could be nice, potentially. But these are things that... Uh, take hunger as well. So basically, I don't want to do too much until I can get a nice pile of food. <laughs> food is very important in this game. If I can just find the corpse of my my tourist from five minutes ago, <laughs> I could take all this food. Yes, they're on the number pad. 
and let's begin. Who makes a statue of a of a fungus? Here's a jackal. Let's try my spell for kicks. Force bolt. <laughs> the jackal. Killed it. Do, 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 do. You hear a D flat squeak in the distance. That is a trap of squeaky board or whatever. Casting spells is hard work. That's right, Stu. You can't eat. Uh, you can't cast spells on an empty stomach. All right, here's a fountain again. <laughs> After last time, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like you know, uh, once bitten, twice shy. Then again, I did survive it last time. Get ready to run. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it alone for now. I'll get greedy later. A nooch. I bashed the nooch with my quarter staff. Wow, there's got to be a secret door here. No? I'm like pounding on my S key to search. Oh, a fox. Let's zap it. Force bolt. Pew. You kill the fox. Figurine of a goblin. You gotta wonder who's making all these statues and figurines of goblins and molds and things. Maybe it's a famous goblin. It's a famous goblin. His name is Gobbo. Famous Lycan. <laughs> uh oh, what happened? Feel a wrenching sensation. That is a tra it's trap. The teleportation? Yeah. I, I think I magic resisted. That's why it said you feel a wrenching yeah. sensation. Cloak of magic resistance is good for that. I mean, there's got to be a secret door here. It's just I'm not finding it up here. Sometimes you just get unlucky. There we go. It just takes a Yeah, it's a, each time it's a small chance, and it can take a long time sometimes. Red bugs are like the weakest monster in the game. Now, what are the, I think I heard they're from Tron or something, or they're inspired by Tron. I'm sure Stu would know that because he knows all nerdy references. <laughs> are, are grid bugs a thing in Tron? I think I heard that it was a thing in Tron. All right, so I don't have a way of um, picking the lock, but I can kick the lock. <laughs> As you kick the door, it crashes open. But all grid bugs are, they're just really weak monsters and they can't move diagonally. <laughs> it's a very I strange. Sorry? And the first was, the first result is the net hack wiki of grid bugs. The yeah. second result is grid bug from the Tron wiki. Okay, so it is Tron. What do they look like in Tron? I, I yeah, feel like I've seen Tron, but I don't remember grid bugs. Oh, I can Google it, I know. I mean, it's been a long time since I actually saw Tron, so it's probably something I just forgot. So you actually watched Tron as, as your, I think, your first movie, and you were fascinated by the bright colors, the red and the blue and stuff. I just sent you what they look like. Yeah, Rob Bob sent me what they look like. Let's pull it out real quick. Red bugs look like that? That's in the movie Tron? I don't know. That's what, that's what an image result looks like, at least. It doesn't look like Tron graphics. I don't know. Maybe it is. Okay. So, so, so. I'm going to change the the game name on the stream just so I'm not misleading people. And by the way, I, I, see, I feel like that's a thing. Anytime I get, not every time, but a lot of times when I get a negative, like a thumbs down on my stream, it's when I'm playing a different game that is mentioned in the game title field. So I think that kind of makes people like, what? This isn't even the game you said it was. Here, have your thumbs down. But I'm not sure. Anyway, so I changed the, the game title to NetHack now. Uh, yeah, so the question right now, I'm thinking, do I want to go for these fountains or just move down it? I mean, you can get really good stuff, or you can get killed. <laughs> That's basically it. I'm just going to move on for now. I can always revisit. Like I said before, if you just start a character, you're not really losing much, but I just don't feel like dying right now. I've died enough today. A statue of a goblin. Scale mail, that's going to impede my spellcasting ability, but I'll just hold on to it for now. Brass lantern, that's cool. Zap this fox. Here you go, fox. That was star fox, by the way. Look at this. A human corpse. Hmm. So this is a darts trap, and it looks like the human that walked in here died. I don't see that too often, unless it's a, a zombie or something like that. 
I think it's just, I think it's just generated like that. It could be a bones level, though, is what I'm thinking. So bones levels are when you get some other player's leftover level with their dead oh. body and everything and all the stuff that was on the level. It only happens on servers, of course. I mean, it could happen on your local machine, too. But it would be yourself. It. I've seen it happen. Like I've just seen random dead creatures mm. on traps before. Yeah, that definitely happens. It's usually, usually like a human or like a, not an enemy. Two says, since when can a wizard wear armor? Well, they really can't because it really messes up the spell ability, but uh, sometimes it's worth it anyway if you wear it and it doesn't mess up your spell ability too much. <laughs> But the cloaks you can wear just fine. You can wear uh, boots and helmets just fine. Uh, I think the metal helmets might mess up your spell casting a little bit, though. So you can wear like a leather helmet or something. Like that. Uh, robes are good. Uh, I think the, for, as far as body armor, though, you're pretty limited. Really, I should be looking up all the details of that kind of thing if I'm playing a wizard. But... Okay, potion of confusion, and I found a ring and a wand. Hmm. I have two potions of confusion. Now, it's fun to try on random rings, but when they're cursed, it sucks. <laughs> so, I'm not going to. One thing I can do is try a random wand, though, because if, if, if that's cursed, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't stick to your hands. Cursed in that hack, it generally means it sticks to you. Like, if you got a cursed piece of armor, you just can't take it off. You're covered in glue. Yeah, it's like, it's like crazy glue or something. All right, so this is a nice... um. Or that's all about tools, which can probably have some good stuff. We just have to be careful of mimics, though. Now, here's an obvious mimic. As you can see the, the, the left parentheses is the character. I should say parenthesis is the character for a tool. But this one here is the, um, the character for armor. And if you notice, when I put the cursor over it, it says strange object. So that's, like, definitely a mimic. Uh, it's possible some of these other things could be mimics, too, though. So got to be careful. I... I'm mostly concerned about that bracket, though, the right bracket. But, I don't know, some of these can be great. I mean, this bag is really expensive. So, one thing you can do in NetHack is you can do what's called um price identification. So, like, the fact that a bag is 433 Zorkmans, Zorkmans being your currency, that is expensive. So, it's probably something magical. It could be a bag of holding, which is highly coveted because it's great to carry a bunch of stuff. It could be a bag of tricks, which is a a bag that you just summon monsters with, which is not always great, but when you're near an altar, it can be great because you can uh, just make a monster, kill it, sacrifice its corpse, and repeat. Um, there are bad bags. Uh, what's a bad bag? Is it just a cursed bag of holding? I guess that would be it. But anyway, this is this is um, fishy. It's, it's way too pricey. And uh, my charisma is 11. So the, the worse your charisma is, the higher the prices are. This shouldn't be such bad charisma that it would make an ordinary bag this expensive. It should be like 20 or something. So this is probably something magical. So I'm going to try to get my cat to steal it from me. Steal it for me. But it's picking up all random things. I don't really care about a key. Sure, give me the looking glass. And Stu said I have a Zork mid somewhere. What was it from Zork? Like a prop that came with one of the Zork games or something? But one thing that's interesting about this game is it, it, it talks about gold pieces all the time, except when you're in the store, and then it says, or interacting with anybody who want, who takes money. Then the unit of currency is Zorkmid. <laughs> I've got a looking glass. This space in front of the door, by the way, is not considered part of the store, so if the cat drops it there, it's, it's, uh, it's, good, it's as good as free. Strange logic of NetHack. Comes with the Zork trilogy. What does the Zorkmid look like? I guess it's a coin, right? According to the NetHack wiki, like the gold pieces are the coins, and yeah. Zorkmid is like, I guess a dollar basically. Mm -hmm. So it's like if the coins are worth a dollar. Here's a towel. Oh, I get to bring a towel. Cool. I want a Zorkmid, yeah. Stu's got a Zorkmid. He's, he's more into NetHack than I am, that's why. <laughs> no, it's from Zork. So here's another bag. Notice it's 133. All right, that's quite a discrepancy. So there's something going on with this bag. Now let's try to get my... Oh. oh. Oh, 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 it has contents. Look at that. 
for you, gracious sir. Only 433 Zork mints for this bag and its contents. Okay, so that could be all it is. There's stuff in it. And uh, it's adding up the value of all the stuff. Let's look inside the bag. Okay, the spell book is worth 300. Okay, now this is making more sense. That's good for a wizard. Yeah. So I'm going to take out uh, the spell book. So if something's too heavy, by the way, the cat can um, pick it up. Uh, hold on, the shopkeeper's not stepping out of the way, so I must have something. Yeah, I still have the empty bag. Okay. This is my normal um, way of uh, getting a lot of stuff from the store. I just let the cat or dog take something and drop it outside. However, I can't do this for too long because I don't have food. Oh, I do have food. Actually, I have a Lembus wafer and the Lycan corpse. I can do it a little bit. But one thing that's nice to do, if you see something that you like, like maybe it's somewhere deep in the store, you can kind of put it right near the front and just hope that your pet takes it. It looks like these bags are all just normal crap, though. 133. The chest worth 216. It's locked. That's the only problem. Not sure if the shopkeeper will get mad at me if I try to unlock it. Do you remember? Baba. I don't know. Okay. I probably would. That's what I think. I'm leaning towards it won't, but I'm not sure enough. Well, you can accidentally destroy the chest, right? Probably, but that would be different. That would be destroying its property. Yeah, but if you try to force the lock, sometimes you can accidentally destroy it. Right, but I have a um a key. I don't have to force it. You have a skeleton key? Or just... I have this key 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 plain key. It? Let's try it. You can see it unlocking the chest. You trigger a trap, but luckily the explosive charge is a dud. All right. So we're going to take a look inside. There's two brown gems for 2,000 organs. Those must be expensive. Or oh, they could be nice. trying to rob me. It could be just yellow glass. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so all the gems in this can game. Definitely steal those. Mm -hmm. Your cat can definitely steal those. Yeah. Let's take out everything. Try to get my cat to steal it. The funny thing is, they might steal it even though they claim it's worth a thousand each. Uh oh. I just realized that. Okay. I have to pay the, the, the exorbitant amount that I took from the chest because you can't like drop the three the 208 separately. So I have to hit the P button to pay right now. All right, so that's fine. Doesn't really matter. But let's see if he steals the yellowish gems. But the funny thing is, it's probably going to be worth not much when I try to resell them. He's selling them for, for a thousand each. <clears throat> but when I sell them, he might say, I'll give you two. Okay, so I have one of these bags. Let's just try it. Look inside the bag. The bag is empty. Okay. So it seems to be a bag. <laughs> Could still be a bag of holding, but I don't think so. Okay, move, shopkeeper. I want the yellowish glass. Come on. Yellowish brown. Eh. Brass lantern? Sure, I'll take it. Here comes a rat. Let's shoot it. Kill the sewer rat. Hey, don't run away with the lantern some more. Get back here, you dumb cat. Where did, where did I put it? There it is. Now, one thing that's always uh, fishy is when a cat or dog that you own or other animal, it won't if it won't step on a certain item, that means it's probably cursed. They don't like to step on cursed things. And I feel like. He should have stepped on the yellow, yellowish brown gems by now. Is there something else in that space? No. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter much if the gems are cursed because it doesn't really affect anything. It would just be a reason for the cat not to step there. All right, I, I might just be done with this place. Maybe I should try to get the spell book and then leave. Whistle and leash can be nice. I might just buy them because you know they're only it's only going to cost thirty altogether. Whistle's nice because you can uh, make your your pet come to you. 
sure I'll buy those. And the leash is nice because it can uh, keep your pet close to you. Here's a scroll labeled Yum Yum. Sure, I'll take the tribe ration too in case I need to puke. No, in case I need to feed the pet. But yeah, I would like to get this spell book. Let's see if I can get that stolen. And then we'll be out of here. So I'll pay for the other things, but I'm going to drop the spell book. Pay for the whistle, scroll label the yum yum, tripe ration, and a leash. Okay. Come on, get the spell book, kitty. Drop the key, okay. Oh, he got me a towel. Wait. Yeah. Cool, I got a towel. <laughs> Towels are good in this game. You can um, you can blindfold yourself with them. You can also blind yourself yourself with a blindfold, but it's another option. Also, if you if you uh, find the Keystone cops who throw pies at you, <laughs> the the uh, what's going on? Okay, uh, I'm not sure what's happening. If I recall correctly, last year I had a couple issues with my keypad. Maybe I have to get a new one. I had to unplug it and plug it back in. I did get this thing a long time ago. It was when I got my first laptop in, I think, 2004. I was like, I'm going to get a keypad. It's very important to play, to be able to play um, NetHack. <laughs> I'm actually kind of serious. I also thought I was going to make a roguelike. I had inspiration back then, but I lost that inspiration. You said you're gonna make that Christmas roguelike, maybe. <laughs> oh, I've been playing with that. There's, there is a Christmas roguelike that exists, and I played it last year, but it was kind of boring. And I've been tweaking with tweaking that a little bit to make it a little more exciting. It, it's, it's hard to find time to do too much in the way of changes, but I did rename some of the enemies and items and stuff to be more Christmassy. And I'm gonna have like bosses and stuff like the Grinch and Scott. Uh, Scott Farkas. <laughs> well, I don't know. If, I probably won't be ready for this Christmas, unfortunately. Oh, he put the spellbook way there, all the way down here. This wants a damn spellbook. He picked it up before, so it's not cursed. It's just a matter of getting him to take the damn thing. Maybe I should put him on a leash. That would make it easier. Okay, let's put him on the leash. Do, 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 do. Well, I have a lot of crap in the tool section, I just realized. Okay, you're on the leash, dude. Cool. Kitten picks up plaid spellbook. Let's go. We got it. That worked out pretty well, actually. All right. Shall I read it? Um, first of all, let's remove the leash, because if I forget about it, I will yank on the leash and hurt my poor kitty. And I have to name him, by the way. Let's call him Pointy again. Uh, I am hungry. Let's. I am burdened as well. I'm just thinking: is there any of this any of the crap I have that I just don't want? Scroll of punishment. All that does is you read it, and a ball and chain attaches to your leg, and um, that sounds terrible, and it is. But I feel like there's some weird combo you can do. But like every every um in this game has an alternate effect if you read it while confused because it's supposed to be you read the magic words all uh, kind of like slurred or something and it's, it's kind of insane how much <laughs> how, that they programmed all that stuff in this game but uh let me look really quick in the wiki scroll of punishment can you throw it? what's can that you throw the ball you can throw the ball from the ball and chain yeah and it like moves you it's not usually worthwhile to do that no. but, uh, it's better not to have it i do, 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 do. It's been said the best thing about the scroll of punishment is its resale value. Aside from that, you probably want to use these for blanking. Hey, maybe I'll just sell it. Then. So blanking just means you you, you um, dip it in water, and then you have now have a blank scroll that you can write whatever you want on with a magic marker. Should you find a magic marker? But yeah, I think I'm just gonna sell this thing. I think wizards can start with magic markers because. They're magic. They can. Unfortunately, I did not start with them, but that is a good thing to start with. 
But yeah, let's drop and sell. Let's go punishment. He seems uninterested. Oh, I'm not in a, in a bookstore kind of a thing. I am in a tool store. I'm, I'm, just, I'm deciding if I want to save it. I know I'll, I'll save it and I'll drop some of this crappy, this crappy tool that I have. Like I have, you don't need that many keys. Um, a lot of lanterns could come in handy, but for now, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hold on to one. Yeah, I'm now unencumbered. That's good. All right, let's. Uh, here's a blob. Let's kill him. Gotta eat something for sure. Limbus wafer. Blech, rotten food. Suddenly everything goes dark. Okay, I'm blind for a little bit. Okay. So, I want my cat to come here and protect me, and I'm going to read the spell book. The reason I want to be protected is because sometimes if you fail to read the spell book correctly, there's negative effects, like you're paralyzed for a while. And some other stuff can happen too. So I want to be protected with by my cat. And there's two enemies right here. So I'm going to zap them both with a force bolt. They're nicely lined up in a row. That'll work. And I gained a level. I'm level three now. And I can see my detect food spell is a little bit more... Uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit more skilled at casting that. That would cost... That would be 61% fail rate. Which is still not great. But Alright, let's do it. We're going to read the spell book. The plaid spellbook. He's gone to plaid. It's difficult to comprehend. So that is the warning that it's above my head. I think I need to be a higher level. Uh, and you can try it anyway, but chances are it's going to have a negative effect on you. So I'm going to hit continue. No. You have selected no. Uh, okay. I really want to look, look around this armor, so maybe I'll just drop that. For now, I'm not burdened, so I'm going to go with it. Okay. Let's explore some more. We're done with that store. You can spend a long time at a store. And I walked into the dart trap, stupidly. Food ration, nice. Shall we try the scroll labeled Yum Yum? You feel wise. You must have been very observant. Okay, so I trained w wisdom by doing smart things according to the game, basically. So I got an extra wisdom point. All right, I got identification. That's, that was the scroll. Um, plant spellbook would be a good thing. Copper ring, ebony wand. We'll start with those guys. So the spellbook is cure sickness. Okay. That can be good in rare situations. That can be life-saving even. But uh, overall, it's not like one of my favorites. And uh, that would be, I guess, a healing school. So there's different categories of spells. But if you look at the, the skill page, you can see that I don't really... Oh, I, I can get healing, apparently. Okay. But I'm unskilled it right now. I, what, I, what I'm at basic skill level at uh, in our uh, attack spells and enchantment spells. Everything else I have to learn through practice pretty much. Keep using the force bolt, by the way, to train that up. You kill the gecko, point to eat the gecko corpse. Rum, 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 rum. Hmm. What's the farthest you've gotten in this game, Rob? Mm, I don't know. I think maybe like four, nine. Level nine? Yeah. Dungeon level or uh Dungeon level. Okay. I don't know. If you made it to the Gnomish Mines probably, right? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna head downstairs. This looks like not much happening here. Oh look, I found an unlabeled scroll. That's good. And I ate a lovely gecko. Unlabeled scroll, as I mentioned before, you can uh, write on them. If you find a magic marker. Kill the iguana. Eat the iguana. How are you doing, kitty, by the way? You can chat with them to see how they're feeling. Usually they, they make sounds like he mews. If he was, like, howling or something like that, that would mean he's in pain or hungry. 
an egg. The egg could hatch into something while I'm holding it. Be a chickatrice. Could be a chicken. Bring mail, let's leave it alone. Look at this. Two scrolls and a chest. So let's apply the key. And in there we have some gold, an apple, a scroll labeled Temov, and two gems, black and green. Wow, I just found a lot of loot here. Cool. The question is always, do we want to wait wait till we can identify or just try stuff? Let's try at least one scroll. Let's try the scroll labeled Temov. You feel like someone is helping you. Oh, cool. That's a good one to know. It's remove curse. It's better when you're actually using a cursed item, but uh, good to have it. And I got to remember I have this wand of fire in case I get in a jam. And this wand, it would be good to find out what it does. I could try shooting it at somebody randomly. Just see if it does anything clearly. There are other ways you can try to identify it too. Like you can engrave on the floor. And sometimes it gives you a clue. Like if it's a wand of... um, I can't remember which one this is. But it might say like the, the bugs on the floor. They they start to slow down. So that might be like a... Uh, I can't remember the name. But like slow monster um, wand or something like that. Brown mold corpse. So brown moles in this game, they freeze you. But if you eat one, you can get cold resistance occasionally. Did not get the cold resistance, but that's okay. It fed me. I hear the splashing of a naiad. Can't move the agonal because I have too much stuff. And that's just, uh, you can't squeeze diagonally through a corner when you have too much stuff. Scroll labeled Fol Ende Wodan. Hmm. Let's use another scroll. We'll, we'll try the one we just read, which uh, we just found. Scroll labeled Fol Ende Wodan. Here we go. A lit field surrounding. Okay, scroll of light. Not super awesome, but it can be nice once in a while. And now we know what it is. Destroy the dwarf zombie. The homunculus is my friend because we're both chaotic. Goblin, huh? I'm gonna shoot him. Bell misses the goblin, thrusts her spear. Sorry, her dagger. Goblin hits. I try one more before running away. You kill the goblin. Welcome to experience four. You feel awake. Cool, that means I have um sleep resistance now because I reached level four as an elf, I guess. You don't have to sleep now. I don't have to sleep anymore. You're feeling hungry. The cat's fighting somebody. Oh, he's trying to kill a homunculus even though he's my friend. Pets always do that in this game. Like, you could be friendly with something and the dog's like, no, I'm going to kill you. And you can't control the dog. <laughs> you can't say heal or, or the cat. Kill the nooch. I smell a secret door on the top left, but sometimes it's not there. I am hungry, so I shouldn't waste too much time. Let's eat the food ration, though. Food really hits the spot. Okay, I'll try this wall up here. And then I'll just give up on that. Okay, probably not a secret door. Iron skull cap. So he must have killed a goblin. Now, the skull cap can give you some nice protection. And just having any kind of hard hat on means that some things that can do a lot of damage, like a falling rock, uh, will not kill you. So even if the iron skull cap is made of iron and it would decrease my or increase my fail rate for spells by a little bit, it could be worth it. But my concern is not knowing if it's cursed or not or, or a minus or what. So I'm going to just hold on to that for later probably. Okay, why don't we head downstairs? We are at dungeon level four. Banded mail, no thank you. It's too heavy anyway. A coyote. Kill a coyote, the spell hits it, you killed it. Okay, so I killed something behind the coyote, and I don't even know what it is. And Stu says I should get an iron skull cap. <laughs> okay. 
to protect your head. An elven spear is a little hard to pick up. I'm not good with spears anyway. Did I kill an elf that was behind the coyote? Look at the cursed elven spear. You can tell because it says point the steps reluctantly over an elven spear. Okay, so we are... It sounds cool, says Stu. Okay. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Empty bags. It's possible one of these is um a bag of holding. Now you could test it. Like, what if you... uh. Okay, now I am burdened, right? What I can do is put this elven spear in a bag, and if I'm suddenly no longer burdened, that means that bag is a bag of holding. Because I'm on the edge, right? Like, you know, over here is the threshold of being, you know, unburdened to burden. And I'm like right here, and if I drop the spear, or I put the spear in the bag, it should take me like right down here. Hopefully. If it is a bag of holding. All right. Or it could make matters worse if it's a cursed bag. Now the spirit goes in the bag and I notice nothing. So now I'll try to take it out. Try the other bag. And no dice with that either. So they're just ordinary bags, most likely. I don't want the spear, so I'm dropping it. <laughs> acid blob corpse. Is that what I killed? Don't want to eat that. I'll have a acid reflux. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whoa, I just went a little farther than I intended by using the run command. It's usually good just so you don't have to crawl through, you know, a corridor, one uh, key press at a time. But sometimes you kind of overshoot where you would probably want to go. So I want to check out this room. Oh, he's fighting a centipede. Pointy kills a centipede. Pointy eats a centipede. Okay. Another scroll. This one is called Lep Gex Venzea. Should we try a scroll? Vote yes or no to, to try a scroll. Or should I hang tight until I get... Uh, more um, identifies. This one is called Please Please Return to Dev Team. That's a special scroll in this NetHack tournament. Uh, let me see if I can remember. There's like a special level that's like an office and the dev team live in the office and you can give it to them to get something. So I'm going to hold on to that until I can find the dev team. But that's going to make me burden. So maybe I'll just burn off another scroll. But let's deal with this guy first. It's probably a dwarf who is not probably not going to be hard, but if he gets Swings like a pickaxe or something at me. He can do a lot of damage. I vote to um, Shoot read him, a right. scroll, by the way. To read a scroll? Yes. Okay, let me uh, kill, kill the dwarf first. I'm going to zap him. Now, since I'm chaotic, he will not be pals with me. Uh, if you're lawful, he'll be a pal with you. He's throwing daggers at me, and my spells are missing, unfortunately. Spell misses again. Throws it down. Let's do it again. Pointy bites the dwarf. The dwarf hits point. Don't kill my kill my cat. That would be really annoying. Okay, I killed the dwarf with my spell. Cool. Alright, hard shoes is probably going to be good for me. Money is always good for me. Let's try the hard shoes. Here we go. I'm a little nervous. I'm always nervous about trying random armor because it can be cursed. Okay, that gave me an improvement of two armor class, so that's good. And my force bowl is still zero. Detect food 67. I think it actually made my detect food a little bit worse. Let me try taking it off again. These are iron shoes. Um, if I don't have it identified, it'll say hard shoes. Yeah, that actually made my detect food worse by 6%, but I don't care enough, so I'm going to put on the shoes. Dagger is good. Please return to dev team. Uh, but yeah, I'm burdened, so I'm going to read a random scroll. Let's try. Here we go. Uh, I'm thinking I might want to get to the habit of taking off my armor. 
for reading a random scroll could destroy armor on the cloak of magic resistance would be really sucky. Don't want to lose my magic resistance scroll. Uh, cloak. It's not something you can find too easily. All right, so now I'm going to... On the flip side, though, if I get enchant armor, it would actually apply to my shoes because I'm not wearing the cloak anymore. Well, that's fine. And it's going to be more ideal to put it on the magic resistance because I'm probably going to be wearing that the whole game. Anyway, read a scroll. It uh, teleported me. Okay, so I'm over here down at the bottom. I'm still burdened. Let's try another scroll. This one is the scroll labeled Thar. A map coalesces in your mind. Okay. I'm still burdened. Uh, apparently, the that's weird because the scroll labeled Please Return to Dev Team, that put me over the edge to becoming burdened. And then burning off two other scrolls did not bring me back down, so that's interesting. It almost seems like the scrolls way different amounts. Or I might have picked up a dagger after that, too. In any case, I think I'm going to drop the scale mill. I don't want that anymore. Didn't you say that you thought it Dagger would be better than a quarterstaff. Yeah, but I want to make sure it's not garbage first. Yeah. Um, ideally, I would find a better dagger, like an elven dagger or an athame. With the elven dagger, you can also name it Sting, and it becomes Sting from the Hobbit. <laughs> All of a sudden, you can detect orcs and stuff like that. Uh oh. So we see some stuff. There's a quadruped over here, which is specifically a Rothe Rode. I never know how to pronounce that. They are an invention of Dungeons and Dragons. It's like a dungeon cow. <laughs> a Rode. All right, let's, uh, what are you guys, just jackals? Or are they coyotes? Jackals are weak. You can just plow through them. It's no, no issue. Zap the jackals. Kill the jackal. Kill the jackal. Okay. We'll eat one of them. Yummy, yummy. Oh, we got another Ruth. <gasps> the Ruth killed Pointy. You, you son of a... I am very mad now. I gotta kill the Ruth. Okay, I killed him. Man, you see your kitten corp named Pointy. That sucks. He was my pal. I'm gonna kill all the Ruths in the game. Oh, I don't have energy to cast the spell. Shoot. Run away from the dungeon cow. Uh, I mean, I do have the wand. I don't want to waste a wand charge on a row. They are they are a little bit nasty for low level monsters, though. How much, how much does it cost? It, I, I really wish it said right here how much the force bolt costs. I think it's five. Five. Okay, I have five now. Let's try it. Yay, we killed it. And Stu says, you've been kissed by a rose on the grave. <laughs> a reference to the... Whose song is that? Seal? Like, I can't remember the name of it. Alright, Pointy's dead. Need a new cat or dog. I am very angry of this, over this turn of events. Um, by the way, it now keeps track of... This is not something I've seen before. I think it's just the interface that I switched to. It keeps track of your time in the game, not real world time. Well, that's kind of funny. There's only 41 minutes. It's like you're. I'm getting hungry. I'm eating entire corpses of cows. <laughs> getting hungry again. You know, stuff like that. But it all, only 41 minutes has passed in all that time. Uh, yeah. Where do I want to go now? I don't know. I guess just down the stairs. Bleh. I'm disappointed. I'll eat this goblin to make myself feel better. I will, um, I'll do some stress eating by eating goblins <laughs> after I kill them. Yeah, I would like to find an elvish dagger. That would be fun. And I'll call it Sting. Locked door. I've never done too well with Wizard, by the way. Cool, you feel wise. You have been very observant. And you feel agile. You must have been working on your reflexes. So I gained a dexterity point and a wisdom point. Does wisdom even do anything for you? Um, not normally. There might be special things that I can't think of at the moment. <laughs> but not really. <laughs> I 
for bragging rights, maybe. Throwing stars, those are fun, just because they look like I'm a ninja, but they're not really that great for me. Scroll of Identify. By the way, what weapons can I learn? I can learn... Or, yeah, I've always heard it's not good practice to um to, to stick too much with your quarter staff. So with these skill upgrades, by the way, you can only um upgrade so many slots. So let me pull up the wizard in the wiki real quick. It's something like I can only upgrade five levels of weapons because I'm a wizard who's not really a fighter. Might even be less than five. Here we go. Skill slots. Um, they start with basic in quarterstaff, attack, and enchantments. Uh, where does it say how many slots I have? I don't know. Oh, but this is how far I can go, actually, this chart here. So basically, I can go to expert in dagger, quarterstaff, and dart. Oh, yeah, look at that. If you have... 15 or 16 intelligence, and I have 17. You can have reduced hunger, hunger casting. Oh, 17 or above, you have hunger list spell casting. That's good to know. I have 17, so that basically means I don't get hungry for casting spells. Because I'm smart. <laughs> it takes 6 skill slots to reach expert in daggers, and 20 to max out all the spell casting skills. I don't want to spend too much time reading the wiki, but let me see about weapon strategy. Early game wizards are very weak and should avoid engaging in melee combat with monsters. Finding a source of thrown weapons to damage or kill monsters before they can reach you is critical. Most wizards pursue dagger as their sole weapon skill because it's easy for them to get magic bane. One second, I'm losing my voice. Right, basically there's a magical artifact called Magic Bane, which is a dagger. And I think that's why they're recommending using that instead of a quarter step. Also, you can throw the daggers, which are good weapons to have handy. And you can get Sting. Okay, let's, let's move on. I don't want to spend too much time staring at a wiki. But yeah, I'm going to try to start using daggers as soon as I find a, a good one that I know isn't cursed and stuff. The problem is, for a while, I'll be unskilled with it, so I'll be missing a lot until I get a lot of practice. But, did I... Yeah, I have a scroll of Identify now. I could actually just identify the dagger, but usually I'm inclined to uh, identify magical things like scrolls and wands. So I'm going to do that, actually. Oh, here's a bat. Let's shoot it. Oh, I don't have... Wait, what happened? Did I miss, or did I not have the energy? Or did nothing happen? Let's try again. I don't know. I'm not sure what happened. Stab, force, bolt. So the right misses the giant, but okay. No, it's in my... Sorry? Oh, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know why I didn't see that message. Okay. I guess I'll just try to finish it with the quarter staff. That's too much damage. Okay, I killed it. Whew. Okay, identify it. Let's go with scrolls, ring, wand. Scroll of missing code. Oh, identify. Oh, I identified the dev team thing. I should have done that. Okay. <laughs> That's the missing code that the dev team is, uh, I guess, missing. I wasn't looking at the label. I just saw something unknown, and I, uh, I just went with it. That's kind of funny, though. That it's called scroll of missing code. Got to bring the missing code to the dev team. And here's a gas board. Gas board is... What's they that? lost the code. They lost their code somehow, and they printed it out on paper. Okay, these guys are gas spores. All they do is uh, they follow you around, they explode when they touch. So I'm going to throw a dagger from a distance. There, I killed it. And I got a tiny bit of, of you know, practice at dagger. In the process. I get it. Pushing the rock. Cobalt mm -hmm. mummy. Let's throw a dagger at it. 
get dagger practice out. You can actually wear mummy wrapping for for uh <laughs> for a real purpose. There's actually a purpose to that. Not too useful generally. Uh, should I get it though? Let's see. I'll hold on to it. It's not usually that useful, but if you're invisible, right? You don't have a way to become uninvisible. Then the shopkeepers won't let you in the store. But if you put on mummy wrapping, they, they go, oh, never mind, you're just a mummy. <laughs> They're okay with that. Can you steal stuff if you grab it and then go invisible? Uh, you might be able to. You, you, I guess you're saying go in with the mummy wrapping on and then take off the mummy wrapping. Or just if there's like a potion that makes you invisible, just drink that. You can do that. Um, I don't, I'm not really sure offhand, though, how the shopkeeper reacts. But I know when you try to enter the store while invisible, it'll, the shopkeeper will say, um, invisible customers are not welcome. A whistle. <laughs> no wish wizard. Uh, what do we got there? A pudding? Mm, gray ooze. I am going to shoot this with her. Spell misses. He curses. Kill the gnomish wizard. Welcome to experience level 5. I will eat him now. Stop eating because of the gray ooze. Okay. I'll shoot the gray ooze. Kill the gray ooze. Seal ring. Another ring to check out. I feel a little bit naked without my pet, I gotta say. I know I'm not a hardcore fighter. And if, you know, if I get in a bad situation, it's good to have the pet having your back. Shrieker. This is the Oracle level, I believe, right? Oh, a zombie's coming at me. Let's throw a dagger. I'm just trying to throw the dagger whenever I can. Get some practice. Oh, another, one, another zombie. Fortunately, they're very slow. I can move like three or four spaces to their one, it looks like. Alright, time to stop screwing around and force bolt. Shh. Did a lot of force bolting. Welcome to Delphi. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have to pay a lot of money to, to consult with this oracle. The minor consults are just the messages that you can find in fortune cookies. What is a minor con? Major consult? I should know by now. I don't remember. Checking it out. Major consultation is an extended description of some aspect of the game. For example, yeah, the reason why I don't pay for these usually is because I just look up stuff in the wiki. In other words, I'm a cheater. But for example, it can say, Behold the cockatrice, whose dim diminutive stature belies its hidden might. The cockatrice can petrify any ordinary being it contacts, save those wise adventurers who eat a dead lizard or blob of acid when they feel themselves slowly turning to stone. And that's a great reason to carry around a lizard corpse as you go. Apparently a blob of acid too. I didn't know that one. Wouldn't a lizard corpse rot? Uh, they're actually are, are an exception. They just don't rot. Just so you can do that. Doesn't make sense, but that's how it is. Now these fountains are good to have, uh, especially for later when I want to make potions of... Um, water and then bless them at some point you need to do that a lot you make a lot of potions of water bless the potions and dip all your things in them to make them blessed um let's throw a dagger at this guest for let's try a throwing star for fun <laughs> i hit him with a throwing star e Probably there's more to this. In fact, I know there is. I'm getting hungry. 
I'll send a Naga. Red Naga Hatchling and a Gnome. And let's shoot them all. Shoot them all, let God sort it out. The shadow stat the shat the statue shatters. Some rocks and darts. I'm sure I'll eat the red naga. Yummy yummy. Yeah, I think on the right side there's gotta be a secret door here. It's possible that wisdom is used in searching for a secret door. That's why I seem to be sucking at it. That's my theory. I had to look it up. Uh oh. The gnome hurled a dark green potion. The flagon crashes on your head and breaks into shards. The dark green potion evaporates. This burns. I have to name what that is. I think that means acid. Let's see if it could be anything else. Yeah, it's, it's acid. Well, it identified something for me, so that's nice. <laughs> now I must shoot you, gnome. Let me throw a dagger at you first. I want to get my practice in. And now I'll shoot you. And now I'll eat you. No, you left an apple instead of a corpse. He, he turned into an apple when I killed him. It's magic. Or dumped. Get it. Where is the secret door? It's got to be one. Hello, fungus. I will eat you. Brown mold corpse did not grant me the cold resistance that I want. You hear convulsive ravings. Man, I'm going to get hungry all the searching I'm doing. Oh, I am hungry again. I'll eat you, gnome. You can't leave a corpse either. What's with all these things not leaving corpses? A yellow light is going to blind me. I am blind. Or somebody else there or something. Let's shoot it. I think it was a goblin. Yeah, I killed it and it left its corpse and a food ration. So that's convenient because I'm hungry. I can just hurt my daughter. So I'm freaking out a little. I know you're supposed to be sleeping. Please don't wake up now. Okay, uh, yet another iron skull cap. Something's hitting me. I will shoot him too. Spell hits you, destroy it. You hear a strange wind. So, okay, so I was barking up the wrong tree, I think, when I was searching along the right side of this room. It looks like I just had to go around the way that I'm headed now. Feel strong, you must have been exercising diligently. You feel agile, you must have been working on your reflex. That's nice. You are hit. Okay. What's going on here? Something biting now. Alright, let's shoot it. I'm still blind. It's, uh, there's a lot of stuff. I gotta get out of here. This is bad. I'm being surrounded and it's down to eight hit points. Okay, right, so I could drink extra healing. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so extra healing is an option. Uh, I have scare monster. That's a good option. I might go with that. I can just zap it with wands and things like that. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with scare monster. And uh, if I need to, then I'll go with extra healing. Let's start with scroll of scare monster. You hear maniacal laughter in the distance. Ha 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 ha. Something's still hitting me and I'm almost dead. Okay, shoot. I guess we're going with extra healing now. Okay, so all right. Now that I can see again, I can see that there's two elf zombies and a goblin. Okay, so I'm sure I can, I can just try to lose the zombies by going to the right a little bit. They're slow and then I can easily deal with the goblin. Okay, that's better. See how nice it is when you can actually see? Okay, kill the goblin. Okay, 
Kill two zombies. Oh, another one. Okay. Another dagger, that's nice. Food dagger, I'm not going to bother with. Those are just this orcish daggers that suck. Oh, mains. Let's kill the mains. Alright, so, yeah, I'm, I'm in the orange. But 15 is not terrible. It's not great number of hit points, but I'll, I'll be alright for now. There's a pony to my right. Look at that. I can actually tame that pony. I'll make, let, me make sure, let me make sure it's a pony. It's a pony. I can throw it an apple in it. That it's going to be mine at that point. So that would be nice to have a pet again. Here, pony, pony. Throw apple. He's mine now. See, so he's got the underline under him. And it is a tame pony. Should we call him Pokey? Pointy and Pokey. Pointy and Pokey. All is what I want to chat. Let's call the pony Pokey. Named after the pony from Gumby. If you got a heart, then Gumby's a part of you. Oh, I'm weak with hunger. Okay, let's eat a food ration. Really hits the spot. Now we have zero viewers. Okay, it looks like all we had tonight was stew. <laughs> Sometimes it lies to me, though, so maybe you're still there. Stu. Or maybe you've gone to do your own stream. We don't have Ryan. We don't have Arturo, I don't think. Uh, or random other people. Andy and Janice usually only show up on Monday Main. That's pretty much all my regulars. <laughs> Monkeyless. I am level 6 now, by the way. Okay, his dwarf is being a jerk. Let's throw a dagger right back at him. And now I will force bolt him. Look at that, he resisted. I wonder how he did that. Stop resisting. Huh. A hooded cloak, I wonder if... That might provide provide some magic resistance, but I might be able to wear studded leather armor. Actually, I have to look at that. Unfortunately, I'm burdened right now. Let's let's look up the wizard in the wiki again. Armor. Players disagree on whether wizards should wear high AC armor class, metal armor, and focus on melee skills, or ignore all metal armor in favor of being able to use spells in combat. Wearing metal is fine if, if it doesn't encumber you and you're confident in your ability to survive without relying on the magic. It's basically it's the metal, so can I do studded leather though? Where does it say how it works? It might be in spell casting actually, not, instead of wizard wizards. Uh Let's see. Spells. Casting. Here we go. Yeah, metal impacts your chances of success. As well as the type of shield. Alright, so can I do uh can I wear a studded leather? Does it count as metal? Or are the are the studs too metal? Hmm. Here's all the funky math. <laughs> Maybe I'll just try it out. I don't know. I, I, I feel better if I knew it wasn't cursed. But I guess I could I could try to do that with the pet. Identify its cursed status. So where is my pony anyway? Drop us and stuff, so hopefully, to be unburdened. Trying to be unburdened, but I don't know. I think it's mostly just that stud of leather. Let's find the pony. Will you try to step on this, please? 
No, I won't do it. It's cursed. Where is the pony? See in the main oracle area? Maybe he's there. Maybe he's harassing the oracle guy. Hey, a leprechaun. I hate them. <laughs> Gonna throw things at you, leprechaun. Oh, I was out of range. Look at that. Dagger fell short. I'll throw another dagger. Dagger hits the leprechaun. There he is. Shoot him. Oh, a magic resisted and the statue shattered. Okay. He's going to steal my money. No. Cool, I killed him. 79 gold. Leprechauns just harass you. They steal your money and they teleport away. Garter snake with you. Distracted by another garter snake. I will eat you, garter snake. The cobalt shaman dagger. Okay, I think I need to drop some weapons I'm never going to use. Uh, starts. I'm going to try to have daggers for melee purposes. I guess I can drop. I like having throwing stars just so I can pretend I'm a ninja, but I don't know. Maybe I should have some backup. It just sounds like a throw because I'm going to run out of daggers quickly for now until I can get more later. What about the three iron scroll caps that you have? <laughs> yeah, let's drop two of those. I mean, I kind of want to identify them, but uh, I can't hoard them. I'll, I'll take one of the skull caps. Uh I'm burned. Alright, I'm gonna leave it alone. Okay, uh, what to do now though? Oh, I, I haven't had my cloak on in a while. Oh man. I took it off when I was gonna read that scroll and I never put it back on. Okay, well that sucks. <laughs> but let's, uh, let's do that. I'm thinking of reading this though. Mm, let's do it. Let's read it. Quarterstaff below the blue for a moment. Okay, I have an enchanted quarterstaff now. It's plus two. Should I try the studded leather? Let's try. Can I take it off? Okay, I can take it off. It's not cursed. That's good to know. And the sewer rat's harassing me. Botch. So let's check the... um. The spell percentage is 0 and 58 with studded leather armor on. I don't think it's affecting it. So let's try taking it off now, though. It's the same with it off. So 0 and 58. It's not, it doesn't count as metal, that means. Let's put on the cloak of magic resistance. Okay, cool. So we have four armor class, which is not super terrible. That's where we're at with armor. We're in not super terrible territory. <laughs> not great, but not super terrible. Where the hell is a pony? Oh, I want him. There's a rat. Pony, where are you? Oh. I was in a fog cloud. More confident in my weapon skills. Yeah, I just don't want to train up in quarter staff. Uh oh, China. Zap that thing immediately. Missed. Hits it. I killed it. Right, I got to be careful. There's going to be more of them. I'm going to run up the stairs as soon as I see another one. Just to heal up. Jeez, this lizard's kicking my butt. Let's zap it. And now I have a, an anti, um, oh, another one. An anti, uh, petrification solution. <laughs> Throw a dagger at you. Here's a trick you can do. You type N, which means number of movements. And you type a large number like 22, and then 
the command you want to execute, like S to search. And that's just a way to waste time. You get interrupted if somebody comes to harass you. So that's a good way to heal up. And without just pressing a button repeatedly. Alright, so I have two lizard corpses. Uh, that's cool. Probably can eat one. Let's finish exploring the level, though. Where is my pony? I really want my pony. Is this a trap door to the left? And maybe he fell through it? It is. Pony must have fallen through that. Okay. Trouble lifting the potion. Why don't we drink a potion? Let's drink the pink one. This tastes like liquid fire. That's a potion of booze, so I am now confused. And I found a rock piercer while I was searching. Killed it. But I am still confused from the booze. A peaceful homunculus. We come in peace. Rope golem. Let's not get killed by a rope golem. That's pretty bad. That'd be good. Destroyed. Okay. Whew. <clears throat> I'm hungry again. I'll eat a legged corpse. Yep. Okay, the potion. I mean, the pony's probably downstairs. <clears throat> Let's go there. Rope Golem. They're surprisingly nasty at a low level. Like, look, one hit, or one, one turn, I should say, but two hits in one turn. And it took down about a third of my total hit points. That's why I'm always like, ah, I'm going to blast it. I don't want to go toe to toe, but I got to use my strongest attack, which is the Force Bolt. And now I killed it. Oof. And that's why, why it's nice to have a uh, metal helmet, because. This happened. That did a good amount of damage, too. Should I just try one of the iron caps? I don't know. Maybe I will get one. You can find a hard hat later that doesn't count as metal. A gold golem. I don't want to get killed by gold. Crap. Tap again. Okay, I'm almost dead. <laughs> by a freaking gold golem. Okay. So, how do I get out of it? I could pray... Um, I think that's my best bet, unfortunately. My options are Prey, Force Bolt it. I don't know if the Force Bolt's going to kill it. Wand of Fire, but I don't know if the Wand of Fire is going to kill it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, basically, all I can think of that's good, and that will be almost guaranteed to save me, would be the prey. Otherwise, there is a bunch of things that are like a shot in the dark, like, hey, maybe uh, maybe trying a random wand will do it. But, you know, I got I to gotta pray. I say we pray. So let's do that. The gold golem starts to attack you, but pulls back. You finish your prayer. You feel that Anhur is well pleased. You feel much better. Now let's zap the gold golem again. I feel like we are on the verge of killing it. I just couldn't take the risk, though. So let's zap it again. And it didn't kill it. And it did do three damage to me, so that actually would have killed me if I had decided to just zap it and take the damage again. Let's keep going. Force bolt. All right, I killed it, and you feel more confident in your spellcasting skills. Nice, I can get better uh, attack, which will be great. Cool. You feel you could be more dangerous, it says. What does that mean? Look at that message. Okay. That just means after... Enhancing a skill, 
you can enhance it or skills further. Oh. I guess it means that skill or others. Like you could, I could enhance quarter staff if I wanted to. I don't want to though. I want to save. The, you know, basically, you have a maximum number of skill um, upgrades for the whole entire game. So I don't want to uh, use it on um, that. I want to use it on dagger once I can get a good dagger. So one thing that's always interesting in this game is that this. The straightforward path, which is using the nice, pretty solid weapon they give you, and that you start with basic skill, it's not always like, the best idea to just keep going with that. I'm going to try a skull cap, even though it's risky. Uh, it's going to take me to burden them. It's a tough choice in this game. <laughs> I'm going to leave until I find, like, a hard hat or something. Okay. I'll regret it if I uh, take a hit on my head and die from it. <laughs> All right, let's, um, I guess head down the stairs and eat something in the meantime. If I'm getting low on stuff I can eat, maybe I'll eat another lichen corpse. Hopefully I can find some food rations, a nice stash of them. <laughs> Maybe a food store and my pony can rob it. Hopefully. Okay, we're down the stairs and hopefully the pony's here. And hearing some noise in the distance does strongly suggest that my pony is here. Thanks for the like, whoever just liked it. I said they have no viewers, but my likes just went from one to zero. <laughs> it's weird. Are you still there, Rob Bob, by the way? Hello? Yep. Yeah, okay. Falling asleep? Or... <laughs> no, I have, have it on mute. Okay. No problem. Just, uh, I make noise and I want it to be on the screen. Yep. Yeah, we found a chest. Oh, good, a food ration, another potion of confusion, and a yellowish brown gem. Hey, it's Pokey. Hey, Pokey. Oh, what's this, a mountain nymph? Don't take all my stuff, a wood nymph. The only scary thing about zapping it with a force bolt is I might break. The mirror that they have, and that will give me bad luck. I'm gonna do it anyway. Spell misses the wood nymph. The wood nymph stole a whistle. Hey, Arturo! Arturo says, I think it was me. Oh, that the like? How's it going, Arturo? It's just time for the no November NetHack tournament. That's what we're playing now. I am on hardfought.org. I am a wizard. I'm trying to get by. <laughs> Wizards are tough there. I'm up to level, character level, um, what am I at, six? Yeah, it says right here. I feel only 36 hit points, oof. Uh, what am I doing here? Okay, but Pokey is my pony. I had a cat named Pointy, but he died. Whoa. It's time to zap some Mordor orcs, get ready. Kill more orc, miss an or orc. Let's let the pony fight, actually. Go ahead, pony. You hear the tones of courtly conversation. That means a throne room, I believe. A throne room is an interesting room with a ton of monsters and a throne that you can sit on. The throne gives you a magical effect. Let's kill this wooden nymph. Spell hits. Kill the wooden nymph. Nice. Now, here's the choice I can make. I have, um,. I can get teleport Titus by eating the wood nymph, meaning I teleport around randomly. That can be good, it can be annoying, but with a ring of teleport control, it can be quite good. Because then every time you randomly teleport, you can choose where you go. And if you want, it can be just stay in the same place. That's kind of a good combination. The only problem is I don't have a ton of food. I guess I can probably get by. And when I, when I mentioned that is when you wear a ring, you're always draining your hunger. So, I might just try anyway because it's a fun combo. And I do have some food, just not a ton. Someone shouts off with his head. That's another sign of a throne room. You finish eating the wood corpse, wood nymph corpse. You feel very jumpy. That means I have teleport Titus officially. 
the whistle that takes me over the edge. Like, oh, I can't pick up a whistle. That makes me so. Uh, I already have a whistle, I guess. I don't know if you know, one of them could be a good whistle, a uh, magic whistle. Who knows? Um, what did I want to do? I'm drawing a blank. What were they just talking about? Yeah, teleport Titus. I'm going to wear the ring of teleport control. And now I can uh, choose where I go every time I randomly teleport. Throw a dagger. I want to try to train up my dagger skill as much as I can because I suck with it. And in this game, strangely, throwing a dagger is the same skill as stabbing with one. So, Horse bolt. I will eat the Mordor or corpse Rawr. in the middle of the battle. Just like, nah, 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 nah. I eat you. Scares all the other ones away. Look at my daggers. This is an annoying thing when, <laughs> when there's an item on the stairs, you don't see the stairs. So I'm going to actually pick up this large box and drop it over here. Now I can see the stairs. Here's a Mordor Orc. Uh, fortunately, I seem to be faster than them. Let's throw a dagger. Come on, Mordor Orc. Where'd he go? Did I kill it? No, he must have run away. There he is. He wields a curved sword, and I will throw another dagger. Go get him, pony. Pony's gonna fi finish you. He's running away. He's a chicken. Oh, Pokey's kill. Oh, that's my second pet death. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's what. Keep dying. Yeah, that sucks. I have to avenge another death. Yeah, I did it. Welcome to experience level seven for killing the Mordor. Oh, well, what do we got here? Some crap, more crap, and some money. Force bolting a lot. All right, I'll eat another Mordor orc. Yum, yum, yum. Where do you want to be teleported? Right here. <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? You finish eating the Mordor orc corpse. This is going to stick with me, I believe, the whole game, the teleport type, unless something cancels it. So if you ever just want to go somewhere, you can. Where do you want to be teleported? I'll just go with a couple of steps forward that I was going to head to anyway to check out the room. <laughs> now, I, I, I'm usually a little bit hesitant to use that because it can be quite annoying. Oh, chaotic altar, too, but I've been eating all these corpses. That's just corpses. They're too old, probably. Yeah. If, if the corpses are too old, it doesn't like it. Okay, I'm dropping some stuff just because... Uh, let's try drinking this one potion, actually. Purple-red potion. Oh, it's levitation. All right, that can be very useful, but it can be annoying, too. You can't pick up objects. So... So, for a corpse, I want them to stand on the altar so I can kill them while they're on the altar. I can't carry the corpse since I'm levitating. But it did not leave a corpse because it was not... It like disappeared into a fine mist after I killed it, basically. <laughs> you crushed it so hard it turned into mist. Yeah, with my quarter staff. Where do you want to be teleported? Here. Oh, it's the, uh, the throne room. Come on, guys. Come over to the... to the altar, please. But you can see the advantage of this teleport. Like, I can we float slightly slower. Okay, the, the levitation is running. It's wearing off. But yeah, but you can see the the bonus of the um, teleportation. Because you can get out of a jam easily. You can just travel faster. It's really nice. All right, so now I can actually uh, pick up their corpses if I need to. Oh, I'm getting shot. A crossbow. Get over here. Uh, Alright, I'm going to have to zap him. 
There we go. Did not leave a corpse. Ooh, now I can try actually dropping these things on the altar to test their cursed status. So things um, of unknown blessed cursed status, we can drop all of them pretty much. And it tells you a flash if it's cursed or like this thing is cursed. There's a black flash. And an amber, amber flash means uh, blessed. I'm trying to get the stupid OS dock to the other screen. There we go. We get colon. We can see everything on the floor. Cool, the dagger. One of the daggers is blessed. That's nice. Do, 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 do. Cursed unlabeled scroll, huh? Cursed copper ring. Good thing I didn't try that one on. Huh? Should use a stethoscope more. It tells you information about the thing that you use this stethoscope on. Like it tells you their hit points and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm burdened. What am I? I gotta drop stuff still. I don't know. Let's try it on this cursed, this uncursed iron skull cap. See how it affects my spell casting. Zero percent and fifty-eight percent. Let's see if it makes it worse worse by much. So it gave me one armor class. Yeah, zero percent became ten percent and fifty-eight became. 73. I'm, I don't want to wear the iron skull. Okay, let's, it's, it's weighing me down too much. It's too much of an impact on my spell casting, so forget that. Throwing daggers at the gnome. Let's try to get him to die on the right space. Cool, there he is. Let's offer him now. An acid blob oozes under the door. You have a feeling of reconciliation. Now, why did it say that? I'm trying to remember what that means. I mean, it sounds like it's saying, uh, Oh yeah, I know what it is. It's because I prayed relatively recently, so that will um that will reduce my uh timer for how long until I can pray again. So that's kind of speeding up the timer. Alright, uh that's good. Because I prayed a little while ago when I was about to get killed by um the gold golem of all things. Not normally something that gives me trouble, but when you're a wizard, everything's a little different. You just can't fight too well. I said, Blob, it's not peaceful, so I am going to throw things at it. Uh, it's going to actually corrode my dagger, so I'm going to zap it. Cool, I killed it. It did not leave a corpse, sadly. Come here, snakey, snakey. Uh -oh. So the snake's bite was poisonous, and it did a ton of damage because of that. That's not good. I'm almost dead from a freaking basic snake. Okay. Uh, one more fourth bullet should do. I decided to whack it with my stick, which might have, might have been smart. So I could whack it. Praying again is probably not a good idea. I'm thinking just fire, wand of fire, or fourth bolt. Hmm. This is not a good situation. Even though it's just a snake, I mean, probably I can kill it with the fourth bolt. Not, not guaranteed, and you can always miss. Wand of fire. How much does the wand of fire do compared to the force? But let's look it up in the wiki. Let's look up in the wiki. Let's look up in the wiki. Damage for a force bolt. If the bolt hits a monster, it does 2d12 damage. Monsters may resist for half damage. Monsters with player-style magic resistance take no damage. Okay, so it's, I think it's guaranteed to do 2d12. That should kill it pretty well. Yeah, but I have to hit... Uh, you know, it's the usual uh, math about when you hit or not. Okay, so I think I have a great shot with that, but I just want to see if it's Wand of Fire would do better. Sixty-six. So sixty-six versus what? Two D twelve. Yeah, sixty-six is definitely better. So this would give me an average, like say I roll, say I roll two sixes or seven. That's gonna be like twelve to fourteen damage. 
or 66, the average is going to be like at least 18 or so. So yeah, want to fire is probably better. Uh, how hard is it to hit though? I'm not really, you know, there's so many things I don't know about this game even though I've played it for so many years. This might be an auto hit essentially. I'm not sure. I don't think it is an auto hit. I think any wand that shoots stuff can miss people. I might have to look up uh, wands in general that shoot a ray. Maybe there's always a chance it's a ray missing or something. So I could probably start with wands and look up a ray. Yeah, here we go. Ray wands, boost a ray is animated on the screen. Blah, 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 blah. Hitting and missing. Most beam wands always hit, which I don't have. So I have a ray. I mean, really, I just, I'm just i just going to use the wand of fire, but it, it's kind of fun to look into this sometimes. The odds of hitting with a ray wand is exclusively determined by armor class. Okay. So basically, the higher the armor, you know, the better the armor class of the monster, the more likely it can dodge. Which I believe was the same with the force bolt as well. But the snake? Oh, they have actually a decent base armor class, I'm surprised, huh? I just got to go for it, I don't know. All right, here we go. We're going to do Wand of Fire as our last hope. I already whacked it good with a pl plus two quarter staff, so I think it's almost dead. Or at least heavily damaged for, you know, for a snake. They only have, back to here again, they only have how many hit points? Uh, I think the base level determines the hit points, right? Do -do 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 -do. So they're level four. Actually, it's stronger than I expected. I don't know. Number of hit points is monster level D8. So it has um, somewhere between 4 and 32 to start with. Probably somewhere in the middle. So say like something like 16. And I whacked it good with a plus 2 cord. <laughs> Alright, I know there's no point in me overanalyzing like this. I'm just going to shoot it. Here we go. Let's pray a little bit. <laughs> oh, you know what I can do though? Looking glass. That might be a better bet. Because with that, I can um, apply it to scare it. It only works if they can see it. I.e., they're not eyeless or blind, which they are not. It's an 80% chance of the foe fleeing for 2d4 turns. So the question is, is 80% better than my chance of killing it <laughs> with the wand of fire? I don't know, actually. I think I think it might be the best bet. So let's use that. We're gonna use the mirror. If if I miss, I'm probably gonna be dead, unfortunately. So here goes nothing. Apply the Z, which is the looking glass. Here you go. You're ugly. You're ugly snake. Go away. It's frightened by its reflection now. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, other guys are coming. Okay, my hit points are back up to six. Snake is chasing me. Let's shoot it though with a force bolt from a distance. Spell misses the snake. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let's go to that wand again. Wand of fire. You kill the snake, and it's nice and cooked now. Okay. Now, I would like to bring it over to the altar to sacrifice it, but I don't want to rush into that room. Um, with only seven hit points. So I'm actually going to just run away to the left. Here comes an H. What is it, a bugbear or something? Bugbear, yeah. He's not as fast as the snake, but he is firing crossbow bolts, which could kill me. And then a dog of some sort. A wolf. While I'm running, is there anything useful I can do? I can put on a ring of invisibility. Let's do that. That's a great idea, actually. Aha, you can't see me. Oh, yeah, that's actually very helpful. He's not, see, look, you can tell he's not coming straight at me. He's kind of wandering around. The bugbear shot at me, though. Let's do a force bolt at the dog. I'm hit by a crossbow bolt. Jeez, that bugbear seems to be able to see me. To yep. The dog. What's that? Did you try to tame the dog? Uh, it's actually a wolf. Wow. Yeah, I'm just yeah. calling it a dog because I saw a D. You can't tame wolves. 
you can you can tame anything with a magical means of taming, but not um oh, yeah. you can't just throw it at a tribe ration. Okay. I am blinded by the light, wrapped up like a uh uh I'm gonna close this door <laughs> and just hide here for a little bit. I am blind, I am damaged. I'm healing up pretty well. Oh, it is missed, it misses. Okay. Okay, I think that's crossbows being shot at me. Yeah, let's just do a force bolt to the left. Spell hits it and misses. Let's keep zapping it. Spell misses. The spell misses it. Spell misses it. Jeez. Spell hits it. You kill it. Whew. Lying on the ground, I see a bugbear corpse that I will eat him while I'm blinded. Oh, something bit me. Okay. Uh, trying to remember what was chasing me. There was, there was a wolf, right? Yeah, okay. There's probably a wolf. Not too bad. Let's just zap it. Spell hits it and misses. I'm getting low on power. Killed it. All right, let's eat the bugbear now. Tastes okay. Yummy, yummy. I will eat the wolf now. I'm hungry like the wolf. I'm hungry for some wolf. Less confused now. That's good. I would like to be not blind, though. No objects here. And I'm hungry like the wolf. You feel wise. You must have been very observant. I'm getting a lot of wisdom, I have to say. I got three of those. Three points of wisdom just from training purposes. Just from, just from training. Ah, giant ant. Shoot it. I'm always terrified. Oh. All right. I'm always terrified when I see an A because the ants and bugs and stuff come in swarms. But um, right now, this is annoying because <laughs> uh, I got one of those hallucinating light thingies. I forget what they're called. Um, but yeah, I am now hallucinating. You can see down here. So every turn I'm getting a random view of monsters. I don't know what anything is. So right now it's a kobold mummy. The next turn it'll be something else. Now it's a Zorn, and this is a human zombie. It's really a pain. I'm going to close the door and hopefully uh, let this thing wear off. I'm going to use a key to lock the door. Even. Aha! I locked the door. Okay, given that I'm just trying to run out the clock, I'm probably going to... I probably should take off some uh, rings. I don't want to get too hungry just sitting here. At least the invisibility. The body seems to unfade. You feel like you are a you are one A. I think that's a hallucination hallucination message. I don't know what that means. Though. It's funny how many messages I don't even know what they mean. So I'm looking that one up. You feel you are one A. Oh, that is a. Uh... Okay. An unexpected draft because a monster has broken through a door. While you're hallucinating. What does that mean? You were one eye. <laughs> anyway, here we can see here the door was broken into, so that makes sense. Normally it says you feel a draft. Alright, so I don't know what this guy is, but he broke through the door and it probably wants to kill me. You hear a crunching sound. Somebody's eating crunchy tacos. Message. Everything looks so boring now, thank you. I like boring. That means I am not. Uh, I am no longer hallucinating. Yay. By the way, I have a um, uncurved triangular amulet that I think I'll try on. Amulets can be very risky to try on because uh, if they're cursed and they're a deadly amulet, like one that strangles you, that that's very bad. But it's uncursed, so I can always take it off. So let's give it a try. Okay, nothing immediately obvious. So I will take it off for now. But that will also drain your hunger. Rock mole. That's what was crunching on things. Rock moles crunch away at things. They eat things. Let's throw daggers. Again, trying to train up the dagger skill, but not doing it too quickly at all. A rotten rock mole right after I ate it. And the rock moles eat through the walls. That's right. Floating eye. That's good. I haven't found one yet. And of course, when you eat a floating eye, you can now uh, see all the monsters on a level when you're blind. So I will throw a dagger at him. 
and throw the other dagger at him. And I will zap it next and hopefully not destroy the corpse. I missed, and I'm out of power and out of dagger. I guess I can throw the throwing stars. I don't want to train up in throwing stars. I don't think I can. I will just clumsily throw stars like when a, when a child throws an object. I imagine that's what it's like. But if you throw those things around, you're going to hit somebody in the eye. That's the point. I'm attacking a giant floating eyeball. Kill the floating eye. Yay. Did not leave a car. Oh, it sucks. I hope when I die someday, I don't leave a corpse. People are wondering, where did he go? Alright, so I think I kind of killed everything from this throne room, and unfortunately I didn't get to sacrifice much. But let's go over here and check. Oh, there's still more. Okay, come to me, guys. Might need to go on in Viz just to kind of lure them. Mm, he seems to be following me. Uh, ish. Yeah, let's go on in Viz. You can always put it back on. Hey guys, here I am. Hobgoblin, we have the crude dagger. Yeah, Hobgoblin is easy fodder. Come on. I stand right here on the altar. <laughs> I find that pretty funny. It's like, I don't, you know, I don't want to have to carry somebody that's heavy because it's a pain. Just, just stand right here. So when we fight, you'll be in the right place for your body. To be sacrificed to my evil god, my evil chaotic god. Stand right here. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to throw this dagger at you. Cool, I killed you. You did not leave a corpse. Oh, come on, man. Let's move this Nothing skull. is dropping corpses. I know, they're just trying to mess with me. Here's a bugbear. Let's try again. Come here, buggy, buggy, buggy. Here, buggy, buggy. Throw the dagger. Uh, throw the other dagger. Cool! I upgraded dagger skills. That's what I've been trying for. So now I can have basic skill at dagger. Yay! And this, I don't have any more of that dagger at the moment, though, so I'm going to zap him with force bolt. Okay, I killed it. And it left the corpse. Nice, now I can offer it. Limps a four-leaf clover at my feet. So basically, I guess that's roughly undoing the uh, inherent bad luck from the uh, new moon. Something like that, anyway. Why do you want to be teleported? Let's go right over here, because that's where I was headed to. Hello, guys. Come follow me. Here, kobold, kobold. Here, Kobe, Kobe. Teleport. Teleportitis is fun. I am getting hungry a lot, though. I'll, I'll probably just remove the ring if I get if I like consume both these food rations, because then I will be officially low on food again. All right, left the corpse. Uh oh. I sacrificed it okay, but there's a fire ant in my face. They are a pain, especially if there's going to be a bunch of them. Uh, let's start with force bolting, I guess. I only have three shots of that, though. Eek. That's fire. Okay, that sucks. I might want to put on invisibility. Okay, it's still biting me. I'm able to escape though, ish. <laughs> uh, damn it! Well, that's it. <laughs> so it, 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 it set me on fire, and then my potion of confusion boiled and exploded, and it killed me. The boiling killed me. I think I'm gonna go now. All right. See you later, Rob Bob. Thanks okay. for joining. It was a good. Game, I guess. Yeah, it was a good cool. game. It just it ended sadly. <laughs> yeah. All right. See you later. Bye. Okay. Well, what do you think, Leoncito? Would you like to see more net hack tonight, or should I call it a night? In either case, I'm going to at least get some water and take a break. I don't know if anybody else is watching. By the way.
But I'm gonna I'm just I'm gonna play a little more. I'm gonna play probably till maybe twelve, maybe twelve thirty. For now, I'm gonna take a quick two minute break. So uh, see you in a two minutes. <laughs> Let's pull up the intermission music in the meantime. Should I play as Arturo? Let's see our identifications. Uh, oh man, I had a ring of regeneration. If only I had known. The throw leather armor was blessed for what it's worth. Oil skin sack. Oh, I had a bag of holding. Look at that. I even did a test, but I would. Oh, I had a wand of teleportation. That would have gotten me out of the jam. Oh well, that's the that heck. My attributes. Nothing interesting really here. Piously aligned, magic protected, sleep resistant, infravision, invisible, teleport, teleport control. You were rewarded, you were lucky, not lucky enough to survive. Creatures vanquished, a whole bunch, not a huge amount. Your conduct. Never engraved Elbra. You were here, level 7. That's all. Rest in peace, and we're in 770 gold. Killed by a fire ant. Okay. <clears throat> what should we play as, though? Archaeologist, barbarian, caveman, healer, knight, monk, priest, rogue, ranger, samurai, tourist, valkyrie, wizard, or random... Hmm. I don't know what should I I need somebody to decide for me. I can't choose. Oh, 
Okay. I'm gonna go with we already did tourist and wizard. And I don't want to be a straightforward fighter like barbarian or samurai. Let's try rogue. I rarely try rogue ever. It's gonna be a human rogue or an orc rogue. I'll go with human. Sure, I usually stick to male. I'm used to I'm used to being male. Alright, so all they really have is a thumb dagger. <laughs> Plus one leather armor. Uncursed potion of sickness. Empty uncursed sack. Uncursed lockpick. All right. You are a chaotic male human rogue. Be careful, new moon tonight. All right. So obviously we're going to throw a lot of daggers with them. But what else can we do? Time for the wiki. Rogues are agile and stealthy thieves with knowledge of traps, locks, and poisons. Their advantage lies in surprise, which they employ to great advantage. <clears throat> Rogues can be humans or orcs. I don't know why only humans or orcs, that's weird to me. Are always chaotic. Orcs have a slightly easier early game because of their starting food. What do I have for food? I don't have any food. <clears throat> uh... Poison resistance, infravision, and ability to commit cannibalism or same race sacrifice with impunity. That's weird. Oh, that's orcs. I thought, I thought they were talking about rogues in general. Okay, that's just the orcs. That's the orcish part. On the other hand, humans have better health and starting weapons, as well as several advantages that become important later in the game. They have slightly better hit point and energy growth than orcs, and their higher intelligence, wisdom, and charisma caps make spellcasting and consorting with fukubai meaning succubus or incubus more reliable okay orcish monsters are more likely to be generated jeez i'm gonna take my glasses off they're annoying me uh, blah, 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 blah. all right let's see what's our strategy here no i don't have it i do have a short sword okay short sword a bunch of daggers and it looks like the range can be 6 to 16. And I have a whopping 15. So I did pretty good with that roll. Plus one leather. Potion of sickness. Lockpick. Sack. Chance of a blindfold. Only 20%. I didn't get that. For orcs, you start with two random food items. Because I guess they like to eat. And we can upgrade these skills to expert. Probably want to work on dagger for sure. Rogues get a plus one bonus to multi-shot when throwing daggers. I can throw a lot of daggers quickly. Rogues can gain additional 1D XL backstab damage. That's your experience level. Okay. When striking a fleeing monster in melee and not two weaponing. So you can actually scare things away. Like using uh, Elbereth Scroll to scare a monster. Or probably even the, uh, the mirror that I used last time. And that's a way you can uh, make them scared, then you get the backstab bonus. They're eligible for up to two bonuses when disarming floor traps. Double normal chance of disarming container traps. Additional proficiency with lock picks and credit cards. A rogue with high dexterity is actually faster with picks than, a skele than with a skeleton key. So they actually... <laughs> That's funny, they can actually pick a lock faster than they can open it with a regular key if they have high dexterity. Two top priorities, finding food and developing your primary attacks, which are weighted differently for orcs and humans. That's probably because as a human, I don't have any starting food, so I want to really focus on food. And they're actually suggesting that you go to the Sokoban levels and push boulders to exercise your strength because you don't have a lot of strength. I don't know about that. I just hate doing that. <laughs> a rogue's best attack is the volley of thrown daggers. Yeah, I'll do that a lot. All right, I'll just go with it. I'm going to use daggers a lot, throw daggers a lot, stab with short sword when I have to, and let's go. All right. Be careful, new moon tonight. Let's turn on our number patch. 
Okay. Let's call our dog something. Rough. Two food rations. How was that for a start of finding food? That's not bad at all. Okay, I want to throw a dagger. Stop, stop being in the, in the way. <laughs> we have no ammunition ready. Okay, I want to ready my, my daggers. It's B. Cool. Look, I threw two daggers at once. That's pretty cool. I feel a mild buzz from eating the newt. That is, I think, um, uh, like anti paralysis or something like that. Chaotic altar. That's convenient. The only thing is I might want to eat the corpses. But I do have two food rashes. That, that'll last me a bit. Alright, so I'm going to try sacrificing some stuff if I can. Oh man, my gush of water hits your right arm. Your short sword rusts already. Okay, don't kill those guys, doggy. No, 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 come on. Come back here, doggy. I want to leave them over here so we can sacrifice their corpses. Our evil god. Oh man. Probably killed them. Probably ate them both too. <clears throat> what is it, a statue of a jackal? <laughs> Now, the potion of sickness, I believe you can dip the daggers into it and make them poisonous. I should look into that real quick. And see if it's like, a, I think it's a permanent thing. That would be nice. Yeah, you can dip into that. Right, let's just do it. I have a nice pile. I might as well. Make them more effective. Interesting, huh? Can't do that? Okay. Press D. Hmm. Oh, it's missiles other than daggers can be poisoned by dipping them into a potion of sickness. You can't do it with daggers. So it has to be darts, arrows, crossbow bolts, shuriken. Uh -huh. Alright, so it violates net hack logic to dip your your daggers into the potion of sickness. I could push this dagger for ten minutes, so that'd be fun, right? Especially with the dog getting in the way there. <laughs> push in the rock, push in the rock. Oh, yeah, it's too annoying. I have to, like, isolate the dog. <clears throat> Alright, unfortunately, there's not a lot to do. I want to kill stuff and sacrifice it, but... I guess I'll have to come back... If, uh... Maybe I find a way to make monsters. It could be a bag of tricks or a wand of creates monster, and then I can abuse the, uh... The altar accordingly. Here's some noise in the distance. Who are you fighting, Ruff? What did you kill? Pushing the boulder, whoosh. Getting my boulder of pushing time. Okay, come on, rough. All right, an armor dealership. Come here, doggy, steal stuff for me, please. Oh yeah, I want the gloves. Pick up the gloves. Yeah, yeah, give me those gloves. Thank you. Hey, gloves, let's try them. I'm, I'm scared they're gonna be bad, but I'm gonna try them anyway. I just got gauntlets of power on the second level. My strength is now 25. Well, I don't have to push rocks around anymore. Wow. 
I'm just gonna sit and enjoy this for a moment. Okay. Wow, you don't get that every day. Wow. So, um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, that's usually like a uh, an ascension item. You know, like you have your what they call the ascension. Uh, what's the word? Ascension kit. All the things you want to check off before you're going for the end of the game. And usually, Gauntlets of Power is one of them. There are alternatives. Like, occasionally, you might want Gauntlets of, Gauntlets of Dexterity or something. But uh, usually, Gauntlets of Power are the way to go. So, I have uh, basically one of the things you need to win, in a sense. Or that's advisable to have when you win. But, of course, I actually have to survive that long. I could, you know, make a wrong move and die easily right here. I could find a Mimic right here in this store and die. So, i got to be careful of that. I wonder what these fencing gloves are. Whatever they are, they're not going to be as good. <laughs> so I'm not going to try them. Maybe I'll try to identify them later for fun. It could be something that's situationally better, like the Gauntlets of Dexterity. But overall, probably going to want to just keep on the Gauntlets of Power. Come here, doggy. Seal more stuff. You know, some of these things you might not be able to carry quite honestly. Let's see what we have. We have... Chainmail, ringmail, crested helmet. That's interesting. Whatever he's standing on. Hiking boots, leather jacket, ringmail, chainmail, leather armor. Okay. I wouldn't mind getting the hiking boots and the crested helmet. Steel stuff. What was the storekeeper sitting on? Scale mail. Okay. So let's uh help out the dog. Just help. Here, help me, help me, uh, let me help you steal. Let me help you help me. That's the one. Crested helmet, is he avoiding it? That's the the bracket to his right right now. I think he, I think our, my dog is avoiding it. Look at that. He doesn't want to step on it. That means it's probably cursed. He does not want to step on that crested helmet. That's for sure. Oh, yeah, luckily he stepped on it. Okay. So let's uh, call that curse particular object. We're going to call it first. And the other thing I wanted to try was the hiking boots. Can you steal these for me? Come here, doggo. I think he doesn't want to step on the hiking boots either. Now I'm getting hungry. And he's not stepping on those hiking boots either. Right, let's eat one of the food rations. One of my two food rations. Suddenly I don't feel like I have a decent stash of food. Alright. Um, how much money do I have? Seven? Yeah, I can't really buy a better armor. And he's not going to pick up a full suit. Alright. Let's just go. Try to find more food. That's our, our goal still. Don't want to start with our gauntlets of power on. <laughs> okay, we have a we have a locked door. Let's uh let's use our lock pick. That's what we do, right? Oh a goblin. That uh kill it. And eat it. Eat the lichen. Should not. Leave record. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sewer rat. You can only throw one item at a time. Why is it telling me that? Okay, let's put on the quiver. Ready. That guy is. Train up those daggers by throwing them at grid bugs. A large box. We can pick the lock. 
scroll labeled Pratyavaya, old spell book, black potion, emerald ring. Some graffiti on the floor, it says, they say that a helm of brilliance is not to be taken lightly. So a helm of brilliance gives you intelligence. Why would it say not to be taken lightly? All right, I guess it's time to go down. Shall we read a random scroll or drink a random potion? Always fun to try random things that could kill you. Here we go, folks. Random potion. You feel better. Okay, it was a healing potion. <laughs> random scroll time. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't read. No, no, no random scrolls. You know why? I don't know what destroy armor is. I don't know what destroy armor is. And basically, that would make me cry really hard if I <laughs> read destroy armor and it destroyed my gauntlets of power. So I could um test it by switching that off or just not read it at all. I'll take off the gauntlets and try it. There we go. What would you like to identify first? Okay. Well, it's between the... I guess I'll go with the ring first. I'm kind of curious about the gloves, but it's almost like no matter what they are, I'm not going to switch to them. So I'm going to start with the ring. The ring of searching, but cursed. Okay. All right. Let's put back on those gauntlets of uh, power for sure. And you go downstairs. Mm -hmm. Yay, a green mold corpse at level two. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Welcome to Peak's Antique Weapons Outlet. All right. Let's see what we got. Plate mail, jeez. Curved sword, dart spear. Let's try to get some more daggers, maybe. I guess I have a lot of daggers. I don't know. Silver saber can be good. I don't know if I can advance in skill with that very much. Let's check. Saber. Oh yeah, I can get skilled in saber. Silver saber is great because um, the silver does extra damage to demons and stuff. And later in the game, you're fighting a ton of demons. So that can be a good option. Let's see what they advise about sabers here. Yeah, Grey Swan Deer is, by the way, a an artifact of the um, category of Saber. And it does double damage, and that can apply to the back. So the backstab damage would be added, and then the double damage would apply. So that's cool. You can do two weaponing, they're, they're suggesting at some point. All right. I'll just keep that in mind. It's not, it's not a critical thing or anything. Yeah, let's keep looking. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a lot of options here. Most of them don't look particularly interesting to me. But... Okay, I'll take another dagger, perhaps. Rune dagger. Uh, it's an elvish dagger, which does uh, a little more damage. Crude dagger is the worst version of a dagger. Nothing too exciting, mostly, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of boring weapons. A couple of pieces of armor. I think I, I, I want to get the silver saber. I mean, I want to steal them. Steal the silver saber and probably the dagger, because why not? The elven dagger, I guess. Where was that? I don't even know where it is. Rune dagger, that's it. Down here. Chainmail might do nicely. I just can't afford it. I have to get. I have to get that stolen too. Um, 
Yeah, give me the silver saber, please. I'll put it here for your stealing convenience, doggy. I don't want arrow. Here comes a giant rat. Let's yes, pick up the saber. Good doggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a good boy. What a good boy you are, you two. I wonder if that should just be my main weapon, because the short sword kind of sucks. Mm, I don't know. I'm a little unsure of what I want. I mean, I can train up to expert in a short sword, but they're just short swords still. <laughs> Let me look again what they said about uh, weapons. Like mid-game, they say, once you have a large supply of daggers, you can start using scrolls of enchant weapons for razor enchantment. Yeah, that's good. And they're saying you get a nice, powerful artifact weapon to back up the ranged dagger storm. What is this like? Oh. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, they're basically saying Magic Bane and Grace Wendier are good options uh, for artifact weapons to go for. Magic Bane is a dagger. And Scare Attack frequently causes monsters to flee. And more importantly, it's an Athame. So you can reliably engrave Elbereth. Yeah, so an Athame is a dagger that you can carve uh, letters with very well. So Elbereth will work. That's a good idea. Grace Wendier, they... It's the Silver Saber, though, um, which would do a, a nice amount of damage. But uh, for both of these, unfortunately, they are cross-aligned, meaning they are associated with different alignments than Chaotic. So Magic Bane is uh, which one? Neutral. And Grace Wendier is what? Lawful. So I will never find them by sacrificing. You can get artifacts by sacrificing, but they're always going to be matching your alignment. So, they're saying I would have to w wish for one of these items, unfortunately. Or otherwise, just look out and find a bones pile, meaning some dead character's level that he left behind, basically. So, it's not too straightforward to get either of those. All right, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go with the Silver Saber and try to train up. And if I can somehow get Grace Wendier later, that would be amazing. But if I don't, I don't. And hopefully it's not a cursed Silver Saber. Okay, let's keep on going. Should we just try it? Uh, let's just try it. It did not weld itself to my hand. Okay, that's a good start. Uh, yeah, but I am at unskilled right now with Saber, so I'll have to train up from unskilled. Okay, and the other thing we wanted, we wanted the Elven Dagger. Shows up as Rune's Dagger until I identify it. Don't really care about Throwing Star. Give me Rune's Dagger, thank you. No, I don't want the, I don't want the throwing star. I guess I have it for free now. Where'd the rune dagger go? Did you drop it out here? Here it is. Alright. And uh, I don't know. Another dagger. It's kinda of, kind of a mad place in my opinion. A mad store. A lance is cursed, it looks like rough steps reluctantly over a lance. Do, 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 do. Don't care about an arrow. So what? Can these guys use uh, ranged weapons that are not daggers? Okay, like crossbow or something. Hey, I can get expert in crossbow or dart. Interesting. I wonder if crossbow is a good thing to pursue. I think I could poison the bolts by dipping. Hmm. I mean, I feel like I'd have two different. Ranged weapons, though. I don't know if I need two different ones. Hmm. 
I don't know. I feel like he's made to just throw tons of daggers though, right? And how does he do the multi-shot? What is it called? Multi-shot. They get a plus one bonus to multi-shot when throwing daggers. Wow. Yeah, he's like made to use daggers. So I don't know if I would bother training up in crossbow. Okay, come here, doggy. Where are you? Give me that one dagger. And I'll take the dart as long as it's there. Man, I don't really care about this enough for one dagger to sit here all, all night. Okay, he gave it to me. Thank you. He caught me the dagger. Alright, now, what about the chain? Should I try to get that somehow? The chain mail? I don't think he's going to pick it up for me. Let's see if he will, though. Plate mail is going to be way too heavy. And the chain mail very well might be as well. Drop the spear, okay. You feel tough. You must have been leading a healthy lifestyle. All right, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I'm, I don't think he's gonna get me this chain. All right, let's just let's just keep going. Here, let's, let's sell the spear back. Here you go. Thank you for the seven gold. You want this um arrow too? One gold. Have the throwing stars, please. Want the darts too? Okay, let's get out of here. I'm tired of this place. Okay, so what do we got? Are we hungry? No, we only have one food rash, which isn't a lot. So let's keep on with the quest for food. All right, two food rations just falling into my lap. It's not a complaint. Uh, can I actually use spells at all with as a rogue? Da, 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 da. Rogues do not start with knowledge of any spells or skill in any spell school, and their starting intelligence and spellcasting power are both low. So spellcasting is not likely to be reliable in, in the early game. However, once you have a reliable source of food and a safe place to read, it may be worthwhile to pick up spell books and read them so you can recognize uh, useful spell books later. All right. So probably not going to be good at spells, but it could be. You kill that thing. I don't want to corrode my daggers. Go get him, doggy. I think it's dead, but with a silver saber. I don't think the saber silver corrodes, but I don't know. We could try it. That would be really disappointing, though, if it did corrode. <laughs> <gasps> what? Rough starves? Just like. What? Oh, man, he just starved. I didn't know he was starving. What did he. Shoot. He usually says he's whining and stuff like that. What happened? Didn't say he's whining, did he? And wasn't there stuff he could eat? I guess not, but... He just starved like that. That sucks. 
I would have given him food. Please return to dev team. Okay, I'll return to the dev team. A grid bug. Purple red potion. Let's drink up. Tastes rotten. I think that's fruit juice. Cursed fruit juice, I believe is rotten. Alorum Ipsum scroll. I used to not know what that meant. Cream pie. Uh, I am hungry. I will eat a food ration. Straightforward decision. I am not going to taunt water moccasins at this time. Oh, is it early 12.10 already? I might wrap this up too. Mm -hmm. Statue of a newt. Who's building statues of newts? I wonder how it differs from a figurine of a newt in size. Would the statue be a uh, life size, I guess? It's amazing how easily I can kill things melee, even though I'm using a weapon that I'm not skilled with. Simply because my strength is so high. <laughs> Weird level. It's like, uh, is there anything in the bottom right here? Hmm. All right, I guess not. Let's keep going down the stairs to the jackal. Dagger hits another object. I eat you. What is that? Can that be chain? Bandit scale? Chain armor, okay. Should I try it on though? Let's try it on. Plus one chain around. Nice. Oh yeah. You feel tough, you must have been leading a healthy lifestyle. That's an increased constitution. One of the monkey stole my cream pie. He's gonna he's gonna throw that cream pie at me. What else would a monkey do with the cream pie? Just know it. Oh I killed him. Got my cream pie back. That's my pie, kitty. No kitty is my papa. My But ma, kitty's being a dildo. It's funny how many times I have to attack the rock. Well, I guess it has a high armor class or a low armor class. Really, because I'm not skilled with silver saber, I have a lot of trouble just hitting it. There we go. Swirly potion. I cannot hold the squirly potion. I'm gonna drink it right away. You feel much better. Ah, much better. Gnome zombie goes down. Scroll labeled Ash Pid Soldag. Interesting. Look what this is. Are you here, Arturo? I think you know this word, but it's spelled backwards. Soldat. So Soldalg. Interesting. <laughs> Sure, I'll take all that. Please return to dev team again. All right, I feel like I should read some scrolls, but I don't want to risk um, destroy armor at all. That would be very bad. And I do know I do know identify, so I could just hold out until I find more identifies. I could use my usual trick of just taking off the important armors. 
However, I feel like in that case, in the case that I get enchant armor, um, it would be wasted because the leather armor would not be something I would want to enchant. Anyway, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to hold off for now, I think. Maybe just stash these spell books, though, so I'm not slowed. I'll just leave a note on the map. Okay, so I left. I'm going to leave a note. Annotate. Uh, this one has two spell books. Now, anytime I want to use overview, it'll say, um, has two spell books on level five. <laughs> Man, what's happening? Can't find anything. It's like I know there's a secret door in one of these two places. We gotta be. Find a hidden door. There we go. It's locked. Hello, leprechaun. I'm the leprechaun. Let's get it. Level 5 is mine. I could go <laughs> to teleport Titus again by eating the leprechaun, but I'm not gonna because I have no teleport control. Whoa. Trap door opens up from under you. Okay. Cram ration. Okay, I'm going to head back up and finish exploring. Cool, I have advanced my weapon skills in Saber. That's nice. Black Naga Havshling, I will eat you. You feel healthy. Woo! That's great. That's poison resistance. Uranium wand, uh, chain mail versus scale mail. What do I want? That's one of the little details that I always forget. It's like scale mail better than chain mail or what? Yeah, this is one interesting. The, the ring mail and the scale mail are the same weight. And weight is important with body armors because they weigh a ton. But it has a Bonus of four instead of three, so scale is better than ring mail. But how about chain mail? I think chain mail might have a bonus of like five. Yeah. And it provides magic cancellation one, so a little bit of magic cancellation. I'm going to stick with the chain mail. At least until I can get like. Uh, Grey Dragon Scale Miller, one of those kind of things. Uh oh. I don't like when I, as soon as I start seeing these letter A's, I freak out. Okay, let's throw things at him. That's what our ranged weapons are for, right? So we kill three killer bees down. Let's kill another one. Stings me. Okay. Any more? Who else wants some? Who wants to have a little? Alright, another killer bee down and experience level six. I am poison resistant, so I could eat a killer bee corpse. Yum 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 yum. You're unaffected by the poison. Cool. Alright, I am uh, what happened? I got level six or something? Okay. Hear a crunching sound. It's probably a rock mole eating through the walls again. I think I can go downstairs. Okay.
Oh, Lauren didn't steal my wand. It's going to zap it at me, whatever it is. I guess we'll find out what it is. Possibly, anyway. Oh. <laughs> well, the egg I found turned out to be a killer bee. So I killed it. <laughs> aluminum wand. We could have a battle of aluminum versus uranium. Fire get each other. The Gnome King. Killed the Gnome King. And he had a tin and a type tripe brush for some reason. Loot the chest, unlock the chest. I think I have an identify scroll that I should try. Stu just started his stream. I thought he started like an hour ago, though. Yeah, he's, he's doing two different games. Okay. All right, so I said I wanted to um, identify to identify some of these scrolls, so let's do just that. Read V. And we learned a scroll of Earth that makes a bunch of giant boulders around you and even on top of you. <laughs> You're a distant zap. That stupid nymph is using my wand. Damn it, my wand, my uranium wand. The gnome lord swings his thong at me. I mean, it's song, cl song club. Here comes a zombie of some sort. Mm, a ghoul. Come over here so I can throw. I can throw daggers at you. Destroy the ghoul. Oh, was I encumbered? No. I was. Okay, let's uh get rid of something or use something. <clears throat> uh maybe I'll just toss the armor. The leather armor that I started with. Stairs up. If they're yellow, that means they go into a different branch, which would be the... Probably Silkoban, right? I think the, the writing was Vlad was here. Trap door, I'm on level 7. Okay. Uh, let's eat something. Get a food ration. Try to find the stairs up. Looking glass. Large box. I'm finding a lot of locked stuff. Luckily, I am good at picking locks. Dusty spell book, which I don't really think I'm going to want to hold on to. It's going to be too heavy. And apparently, I can hold on to it for now. Let's find those stairs up. I did by the light. <clears throat> like being blind. I'm searching as I go each step just so I can see what's around. Some gold, a food ration, a scroll, a wand, and a gem. That's good stuff. Okay. But I don't want to be... I don't want to be blind anymore. By the way, if you heard a fart earlier on, I heard it over my speaker. That was Rob Bob farting. He figured nobody could hear him. But I heard him, and you heard him. You gotta mute when you're gonna fart. I don't see monster biting. Do some daggers to the right, and I killed something. Not gonna bother with the crossbow. We already said that. Part of me tempted. Well, I could just hold on to the crossbow just in case, but no, they're heavy. <clears throat> Oh, there's the stairs up, and I can see again. Nice. Okay, let's find the nymph who stole my uranium wand. Where is that little jerk? 
<coughs> Excuse me. And it's almost 12.30. I think it's about time to go. There's the nymph. Kill you. It's all a fizzy potion. Oh, she's going to drink it now. You hear a chugging sound. Great. She's chugging the potion that I just she stole from me. Cherko. You hear the scepter pounding in judgment. That's another throne room, I believe. It's the last throne room was in a different game. Four floor, let's throw daggers. Kill it with daggers, thanks. Wow. Uh, first I'll eat them. Yummy, yummy. Get the daggers, the hard hat. Large round shield. Uh, maybe. Dwarvish mithril coat, maybe. And scroll, yes. I'm going to be overburdened, though. That's the only problem. Okay, let's try this hard hat on. Oh, what's happening? Where the plus two hard hat? Not cursed. Not that it usually is when you have a plus. That's cool. Um, yeah, I got a lot of scrolls. Uh, I wish I could identify. It. I mean, I guess at this point I could just try the armor identification trick. Well, I don't know. Basically, I'm thinking if I could take off everything but the hard hat or something like that. But it's like everything that I would put on, I wouldn't want to lose. I guess I could just put on... Actually, let me check the Dwarven Mithril Coat. Does that, does that give you six armor class? Might want to switch to that. Yeah, they're lighter than other high armor class suits. So the chain had a weight of, I believe, 300. Yeah, so this is a lot lighter than the chain mail. And it gives me six armor class instead of five. So that's pretty much a no-brainer. Also, magic cancellation of two. Whereas the chain gives me magic cancellation of one. So yes, it's a total no-brainer. Unless it's like a horrible cursed version. But I, it, the, I don't usually see that with visceral coats. So I'm going to try that. All right, it's plus zero, which is fine. That's good. And let's drop the chain mail now. Cool. I don't want to lift the jackal corpse now. I'll eat the jackal corpse, so. Another another jackal. Another jackal. Jackal. Is it a jackal? A jackal? A jackal? It's a jackal. Alright, I guess I'm going to sign off soon. I don't think anybody's watching at this point. Another scroll, though. That's cool. I'm going to find the throne room and finish up the level, perhaps. Hmm. Should I just try some random freaking scroll? Let's, let's do it. What are all those eyes? What's happening here? And why can't I find this throne room? There's got to be a space going to the, like a corridor going to the top right quadrant-ish area. A raven. They blind you by scratching your face or something. Hello, are you not friendly? I don't think you are friendly. Dwarf floor, let's throw daggers at him. Am I still blind? No, I would not be seeing him if I was blind. <laughs> but when I throw, nothing happens. Also, you have no... Wait a minute, where did all my daggers go? Did I drop them? Shoot. What happened? Okay, I threw one. Let's throw the other. Let's throw the rune dagger. Cool, I killed him. Somehow I lost my stash of daggers, which is not good. Hard shoes is good. Let's find that stash of dagger. Where the... Where the heck did they go? How did I lose all those daggers? I might have to check the stairs below, like where? 
Did I just drop them all? By accident? Hmm. Did I just naturally run out and I lost track completely? That's a possibility, but I don't think so. Alright, let's finish up this level and then explore down below, which I was at. Which is where I was at before, and maybe... Maybe I can find those daggers somewhere. I don't know, it's very weird. Where is the throne room? Oh, here's something. Steal the... Oh, I bet it was the freaking nymph stole that crap. Stole my whole stash, probably. And it's invisible lately, because probably... Uh oh fire ants. Probably it stole, like, that... Maybe that potion it stole was invisibility or something like that. Anyway... Gotta deal with fire and that should not be pretty. Let's um Yeah, okay, we're dealing with them pretty good actually. We're one hitting them. Do, 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 do. I gotta kill that nymph. Yeah, there's the throne room, but I wanna kill the nymph more than anything. I don't see an end in there. So it's not in there. And they usually just sit there quietly until you harass them. The problem is this nymph is invisible, apparently, so I won't know until she tries to attack me. Like, I won't even know where she is, is what I mean. Very frustrating. I will eat you, goblin. Yum, yum, yum. Ah, oh, it's stole two food rations. God damn it. I really gotta kill her. She's gonna kill me by starving me and everything. Taking all my armor, all my good stuff. There you are. Is that the same one? Probably, but I guess the invisibility wore off? I don't know. Uh, everything can zap at her. I don't know what the wands are, unfortunately. So let's just charge, I guess. I'll throw the daggers, actually. I have two daggers. Good, I killed her. It's not the same one. Damn. Yeah, that was too good to be true. So that was not the same one. She did not have the objects, so that means... Oh, it's still two daggers. Look at that. This is annoying. This is bad. Because I can't see her until she steals something. I need a way to see invisible. Maybe I... Um, I don't know. I'm... Can I somehow see an invisible ring of searching would not do that? Hmm, not looking good. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill these guys. Arf through them. It's strange how they just sit here sleeping. You can kill them one at a time. Oh, look at this crap. Oh, man. So there was a fire trap on the chest. It burned this scroll, this scroll, this scroll, this scroll, this spell book, and boiled that potion. Ooh, that sucks hard. Might as well finish looting it now. All that for a bunch of crap. Eh? That was some decent stuff, I guess. Let's re-identify. Mmm. Scroll labeled for Nord. Oh, I got a scroll of gen genocide. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I should just genocide nymphs. Seems like a waste of that scroll, though. What is this one? A were some oh, an elven king, okay. That was like a werewolf or something. I might want to heal up before fighting the elven king. <laughs> I'm actually hesitant to ever just mash on the search button because I want to accidentally attack 
the nymph, if anything, rather than just search and let her steal from me. Okay, let's kill this Elven King now. That's a long wand. A magic missile hits you. Okay. Magic missile hits you. Let's kill it. All right, we got it. And there's a throne here. I will take the wand of magic missile. An opulent throne. I'm going to try on these shoes. Oh, they're plus one hard shoes. Nice. What about the shields? Did I do that too? Let's try. Oh, wow. Mobile, confident in your weapon skills. Cool. We've been advanced saber even more. That's good. And say shoot. I'm not going to get anything else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Potion of extra healing. I'll grab the tribe ration. Anything else to gather up here? Uh, some money. Tiny bit of money. Roll of identifier. I like those for sure. Why don't we identify the rings and or wands this time? Plus three ring of gain strength, which would be fantastic if I didn't have these gloves that give me the maximum strength to begin with. Wow. And a wand of light and a wand of cold. Jackal missed, I missed that jackal. Yeah, let's sit on the throne. I found a cram ration, by the way. We'll sit on the, sit on the ruined bow. I have to move all the objects before it'll let me sit there. Okay, now we can do it. You feel wise. Well, I got some wisdom from it. That's cool. I don't want the bow and arrow or the mace. Let's hit some more. You feel out of place. The throne vanishes in a puff of logic. That's a reference to Hitchhiker's Guide, I believe. Who are you? Peaceful woodland elf. Okay. Gotta find this damn nymph. Very angry with this nymph. I don't know if I'll ever find it though. You know, he just attacks me and steals before I know what hit me. Hmm. If only I had, let's see, if I could eat a floating eye. I can blindfold myself and see it. I don't know. It's also possible they're on the next floor by now. It fell through the trap door. All right, I'm going to go down and hopefully find the nymph there. <laughs> or find some giant ants. Ring of searching. That might actually find the nymph, nymph for me. Hopefully this one's not cursed. Oh, she seduces you and takes her shield. Crap. There she is. Okay, so I have the ring of searching out. I don't know if that'll find her. Oh, there she is. Let's kill her. Oh, she stole it and teleported away too fast. Crap, this is terrible. She's going to steal everything I have. There's got to be a way. This has to be friendly. Mrs. Kill it. I hit it once, and it's still a rusty short sword. Okay, so if I can just keep hitting it, there's a chance. I stole a dagger. I get all my stuff back. I need it back. So it's definitely one. It's definitely harassing me on this level. It's active. It's being a jerk.
Leprechaun, read the scroll of Eris Sazun Edisi. Mm -hmm. Has to be friendly and missiles. Kill it. You kill it. Yes, yes. Finally, kill them. Fuck it. Piece of crap. Nymph. All right, let's get all my stuff back. Look at all the stuff. Wait, it's still not my pile of daggers. Where's my pile of daggers? Oh, man. That's what I mainly wanted. And I kind of wanted the uranium wand just because. All I have is one dagger. I guess two daggers. Counting the rune dagger. Maybe she drops stuff? Right, that sucks. Leprechaun stealing my crap. Now I gotta get him now. He's, he's the next, next guy who's harassing me. I don't want to be a... um. Melee guy. I'm supposed to be a a dagger throwing, uh, dagger tossing rogue. But these guys are not playing too nice. <laughs> and nymph. Oh, well, this this guy had a pile of stuff, and I was hoping one of them might be my daggers, but no such luck. I could all I could say though is I'm glad I. Didn't lose the cause of power. That would have been pretty terrible. <laughs> mm. I just want the leprechaun that I'll move on. Maybe I should go up those stairs to Soko Ban. Crap. Getting mobbed here. She hopefully I can handle this. Just killer bees are usually not too bad, especially when you're not when you have poison resistance. Poison resistance. Where's this damn leprechaun? <laughs> I'm still missing. No, I thought I was missing my. my oh yeah, I'm missing my my helmet. I had a plus two hard hat. Where the hell did that nymph drop stuff? This is annoying. Here, I'm gonna drink a potion. Maybe it's obvious detection. I feel completely healed. Well, that was a waste. Hmm. <laughs> dog, here, have a. Hey, Prashen, now you're my dog. Woohoo. Oh, where's... I need the leprechaun. I need my stash of stuff. Like, what is going on here? Ooh. I should not go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Let's throw a chunk at it, like our darts. I don't want to lose... stuff due to corrosion, basically. Cool, I killed it. Gold, cyan potion, sure, let's drink it. I'm just drinking stuff now. Oh, wow, look at that. You feel smart, you feel wise, you feel self knowledgeable. Or unencumbered, wielding a saber, skilled in saber, piously aligned, poison resistance, automatic searching, stealthy, guarded, and you can safely pray. What does guarded mean? Guarded. You are guarded. Oh, that's magic cancellation, I guess. Hmm. Oh, so it says you are warded if you have magic cancellation one. You are guarded is magically magic cancellation two, and you are protected is magic cancellation three. So that's just telling me the dwarven uh, mythical code is giving me um uh, magic cancellation two. Okay, that was pretty cool. I guess that was a potion of enlightenment, probably blessed because it gave me uh, intelligence and wisdom as well as just telling me my intrinsic attributes. I bet that's a leprechaun behind it. Let's uh, use a pickaxe and dig through it. Hopefully it's not a cursed pickaxe. 
No, it's a doggo. Check all that is. Is that a leprechaun? There he is. Let's kill him. Here, doggo, you fight him so he can't. Oh no, he's right on top of me. Ah, oh, I hit him, but he stole money. Get him. It stole what? There's another nymph here. It stole an uncursed three plus plus three ring of gain strength. Shoot. Maybe that maybe that's the one that has all my other stuff at this point. Gotta find that thing. Green elf, no, I don't care about you. Don't fight him, doggo. It stole a tin. What is this thing? What has happened? This thing's annoying. Get this jerk. I should just genocide them. <laughs> I'm really tempted. But usually they don't give you this much trouble, so it's not worth wasting the scroll of genocide. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What is that? Is that a real thing? No. Oh, I feel clumsy. I haven't been working on my reflex. What did I do wrong? Is that because I got stuff stolen from me for some promotion? It's not good as a rogue to be losing dexterity, really. Maybe I can get it back somehow. Pretend to be friendly. <sighs> Stole a leash. God damn it. I gotta get this guy. Jaguar. I'll eat you, Jaguar. Here comes a fire ant. <laughs> He's swinging a broad pick and doing 100 damage. Get him, doggy. Uh, what do I do? I could die right here. Let's see. Extra healing. It's clear enough, right? Yeah. Whew. I'll finish eating my jaguar corpse. Mm, yum, 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 yum. So there's a different hard hat, but I would know if it was the same one. It would say plus two. It's probably not worth going for that one. I really got to find this nymph. I am so pissed. There are two nymphs stealing my stuff. Or yeah, I think two. Um, what else can I do here? I don't need two pickaxes, right? Not that it matters much. Mm -hmm. Come on, doggo. We gotta find a, a nymph. Ice Vortex is freezing me to death. We're gonna kill that nymph. Deposit? No. I am friendly because we are both chaotic or something. Let's dig through the boulder. Um. Fly. Okay. Well, then, no. Green elf. Now you're going to get killed, you stupid dog. Get away from them. Anything that uses a weapon will kill your dog. I don't know why it tends to be that way. Anything that can stab with a sword or whatever. Don't get your dog. Or cat. I remember when early versions of this game only had, um, 
dogs and not cats. Maybe it was just hack and not the hack. Anyway, something, I guess it's the raven that I'm fighting here. Okay, I killed that. One dog, we gotta find his nymph. It is mandatory. I am very unhappy. Anything I can use? Why don't we try using random things and prepare ourselves as far as a weapon, uh, armor? So I'll take off all its power. Take off the mithril cloak. If I lose this hard shoes, not the worst thing in the world. And begin to glow red as confused monster. Read you. Ah. It's an enchant weapon, but it was cursed. So my silver saber took a hit. Put back on the armor, though. And we keep going. There's a leprechaun that I hate. So we zap something in the leprechaun. Let's zap the spiked one. Oh, that wasn't okay. Stole a pair of fencing gloves. God damn that thing! Give me that dagger, dog. It's mine. Is killed. Oh, did you kill the nymph? You killed the nymph. Yes, it killed the nymph. It killed the nymph that was causing me all this grief. Look, my 14 daggers. Hurrah. My other cool stuff, too. The, the plus two hard hat is another important one. Plus three ring of gain strength. That's good in case I lose my gauntlets or something. But right now we have a little bit of a problem here. We have to deal with winter wolf cubs. It shouldn't be too bad. 14 dagger, 2 daggers, eh, I'll take the short sword, hard hat, fencing gloves, round shields, don't need the, cha don't need the chain mail, I'll take my food rations, this, that, 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 hopefully I'm not encumbered, uh, I'm gonna be, alright, let's, let's not do this during the fight, I don't wanna be encumbered in the fight, alright, not too bad, let's continue picking up crap and dumping what we don't need. Let's drop this cursed ring of searching. We have a good ring of searching. Alright, so hard hat I want. Let's just take it all and drop stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. We don't want the crossbow. That's too heavy and not really something I want to use at any time soon. Uh, let's wear the hard hat. Plus two hard and nice. You go from zero armor class to negative four. That's quite a jump. Hmm. Let's drop one of the looking glasses. We don't need two. Uh, what else? Not sure what else. Mm. Pickaxes are great to have. Uh, I guess I'll wield the round shield again. Negative six AC. Nice. Uh, I'll lose the shield at some point if I want to go dual wielding, but I don't think I'm doing that for a while. Mm. Am I hungry? No. It's amazing I'm burdened and I've got 25 strength. I'm like, hey, what do I want to get rid of? Uh, the hooded cloak is not usually worthwhile. Just a zero armor class cloak. Pair of fencing gloves, I guess. Don't really need those. But I'm, I'm still kind of like, well, I would like to have them in case I lose my gloves, or I'd like to see if they do anything special, because it could be gloves of dexterity or something. I guess really I just have a huge pile of food. Uh, how am I with potions? I have a lot of potions. I don't have any. I just have two clear potions. Potions kind of weigh a lot. I still to see what I would want to drop. Keep cycling through it, but I guess maybe some of these weapons. I don't need the darts if I have all these daggers now, but that didn't help. I'll probably just ditch the sword, short sword at this point. It's rusty anyway. 
That didn't help either. I mean, it's helping a little bit, but it didn't push me over the edge. I could drop daggers. I'm kind of a dagger chucking guy, but I guess at some point you have too many. I don't know if the separate stack means these are worse or better. I have the plus two right here. Could be their plastic, could be their cursed, or have a different plus. Unfortunately, I can't tell too easily what they are. Mm. All right, um, I don't know, maybe I'll drop a couple daggers. Sad reality, I guess. Daggers actually weigh a decent amount, especially when you have a bunch. Oh, I didn't do it, I dropped two. I don't know, I feel like that's, a, I don't know, that's something I want to drop too many of. Because, uh, that's my main offense, pretty much. Alongside the Silver Sabres. Hmm. Okay, what about... Dropping one food right. I don't know. These are so valuable though. I could try eating a random tin. I'm not satiated anymore. Let's try. I don't know. I don't think a single tin is going to help that much. It's like light and like it, sure. You can do boiled like and yummy, yummy. Hey, Anthony. You should watch my streams, Anthony. Anthony, uh, he always comments on my videos. He's super nice. And he said that on Halloween he watched it. an old Halloween Garfield special. Garfield Halloween special. I think it was called Garfield Halloween Adventure. And the funny thing is, my wife took our daughter to the library today. And she just kind of by chance got the very same video. The Garfield Halloween Adventure. It was on a DVD with multiple holiday themed um, Garfield shows. Kind of funny. It's dropped a food ration and that did not help. My burden problem. Hmm. Oh man. This is one of the things I struggle with and then I have to say, it's just drop stuff. It's like, uh, I got all these things I could need. <laughs> it says something about me, probably, right? But I'm really tired. I just want to resolve this one problem and then go to bed. I don't want to leave it in the middle because I forget about it. Um, did I drop the curse ring of searching? I did. Is there anything in this sack and that was empty? I could toss a... I could toss a block pickaxe, I guess. That would do it. It's nice. It's really nice to have a pickaxe. So you can just dig through walls. I don't feel like I have a huge... Stash or anything like I don't feel like I have redundant piles or anything. I guess, I guess except the daggers. Three daggers. We'll just have one dagger at a time. Three, four, ugh, five. No, this is way too many. I'm not doing this. Wait, where do they go? Oh, I must have moved back. Oh well. I'm back where I started. I want the food ration too. I wish it would show you the. I think there's a setting you can do to show you all the weights of everything, but it doesn't really show you it by default. I guess I'll toss the fencing gloves. I don't know. I do it. No. I accidentally picked up one of the looking glasses. If I dropped one. I mean, you can. There's a way to identify these gems, I think. You can engrave them in the ground. And it would tell you if it's um, glass. And that didn't, that didn't tell me anything, did it?
When you find a pile of one kind of unidentified gem, it's unlikely that they're good gems. They're probably just worthless class. I don't feel bad about dropping the pile of four red gems. Uh, oh, making my life rough, though. These decisions. I can't make decisions. I'm the president. Finally, I dropped the food ration and now unencumbered. Uh, and a crocodile that came me at the same time. Jeez. Almost killed by a crocodile here. And it's rotten as soon as I kill it. How does that make sense? Oh, a steel wand. I'll take that. Now I'm encumbered again, right? Yep. Oh, I need to identify some things. Yeah. Okay, so I got 14 daggers at this point. That's pretty good. Alright, I think it's time to call it. It is 1 a.m. and I'm tired. I'm glad I resolved my uh, carrying stuff issue. And if anybody's watching still, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. And have a good night. Take care.